Don't you much, didn't she? It's time for keeping going and seeing what I can do. Hopefully I can get to the Zora dungeon. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> Over here in Gerudo Town, some stuff seems to be, or maybe, weird out in here, not the sink that is back open. Check that quickly. Also, a couple of rips from before should be closed now. Let's we'll see what happens. Hmm. Let's check. Back over here, the rifts are gone, so no monsters are coming out of the rifts. That's the big thing. So I will spin my way around. Oh, we got the reheads here still, but <clears throat> this is restored. Should basically be blocked off right past the entrance. And oh, huh. Hello. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you for getting rid of that nasty rift over the sake. We're all so grateful for you. Oh, did you want to get back in? Fortunately, I can't let you through, despite all you've done for us. It's a sacred place to us. So that's why you can only get back in the Steel World version. Yep, and that's their explanation. Do you want to visit the Steel World again? No, I do not. There is nothing in there for me. Hmm. <clears throat> let me just check. Anything up top? Probably not. Hmm. Try climbing. Just to be sure. I don't imagine there would be anything there. <clears throat> it is interesting that, at least as of now, none of the dungeons have any way to access them in the overworld. Huh. At least all two of them. Let's check around where the rifts were before. <clears throat> Let's see what there's Trudo might have to say. There's Ancestor's Cave of Rest over there. Also had a rift. Did already clear out. Desert Temple. So that check in. Hmm. Let me see. <clears throat> Anything through here? This is. Nothing. The rift's just gone, so you can bypass it. Rest in peace, brave warriors. Bet they will. Okay. So the other rifts. Just check out the locations of the rifts. See, hmm. location. There's one over there. One down a bit farther. Let me see. Couple around the dungeon as well. Nothing is up here. That's understandable. Come on, come on. Oh, this was that rift. There was another up top as well. Come on, come on. <clears throat> Down diagonally, go up here. Still need to rest a bit in that bed, but that's fine. Okay, it does not seem like there was anything there. One over by the desert temple. Another one, Mola. Also the oasis. <clears throat> this was another check-in, I think. It was the south of town. The only thing I think will get revealed by a rift might be that stamp area. <clears throat> Maybe a stamp underneath the Zora hidden area. Maybe. I could see that being the case. That's basically right there and yeah, nothing. Maybe a bit of a wind cannon could reveal something, but probably not. And nothing, nothing. Is there something up there? I don't think. Let's try that. Go on, go up. We will move that, but I'm pretty sure I've removed it before. Yep, and oh, just one of you. I don't really care. And yeah, Druid of Sanctum. Those pillars, though. Let's check that one more time, real quick. Okay. So. So, pillars got nothing on them. Makes sense. Kind of annoying because there was something there. Nothing up here. Is that cave? And then oasis in the temple. I do wonder if we can do stuff with the tough mangoes now. That'd be fun to check out. 
Also, maybe make a couple of smoothies with <clears throat> golden eggs we got in some of the other caves. Uh. Jiro Desert, because I want to learn about Jiro dancing, but I'm super interested in the local produce. The tough mangoes grow in the tent. I wonder if that's what makes the Jiro people so lovely. Yeah. All right, the number of sandstorms has decreased pretty abruptly. I wonder, did someone take down the land molds causing them? Yes, it was me. Hello? Hi. Rifts are gone, now we can finally rest. You, you, you. Don't need rupees for much. Hello. Uh, Oasis is where we drew to come to refresh ourselves and find quietude when you're tired. It's a great place to come kick back and enjoy a smoothie. Oh. The cloak reminded me of swordsman. Okay, that was already shown there. Okay. Let's try to make a few more smoothies. E. E. So this with other options. We got one of everything. We made that with Kelpia. <coughs> or made most things with a gold, actually. Did get a lot before. Can't make... Let's make that with a golden bubble. Just for fun. Some of this, some of that, and just golden bubble smoothie. Smoothie. That is a... Yep, a golden bubble. Golden bubble smoothie. And this bubbly beverage comes with a savory surprise in the depth of its umami flavor. Get rid of something that isn't all that good. Yeah, maybe climbing. Eh, let's say a cactus. Get rid of the cactus. Let's combine this with something again. Electro, golden, just normal golden. What's it, normal golden? golden? Bubble. Golden piping hot, golden smoothie, golden smoothie. Move that with the cactus then. Okay, golden cactus smoothie. And. Thank you. Golden cactus smoothie. No, golden chili smoothie. Cold, sweet, sour, and juicy. The smoothie boosts rich flavors with an umami finish. Fireproof. Can I get rid of chili potion? Let's put golden smoothies. We can save that for later. Uh, let's get rid of wrap. Uh, that is not all that good. Sweet tough is a milky tough's got more health, but less damage reduction. Let's get rid of that for now. We don't have enough eggs. We'll be okay. All right. Can hear this is what? Anything new? <clears throat> yeah. Trudeau soldiers and dancers to rest here. Yeah. Seen that already. Oops, made help with a mango rush, but she shares her tough mangoes with me, so I don't mind too much. Hi. And hello there. We'd like to play some mango rush, and don't have special hmm. seats yet. So there is our answer to that question. Kind of sad. Let's go check the desert temple out. See if anything is there. Probably not. Hmm. <clears throat> Here we are. This is where the temple was before. Is anyone still here? The answer is they've all gone home. Makes sense. Should be a couple more people down by this grass. No more sandstorms. What do you have to say now? Now that things are back to normal, I can finally kick back. Maybe we'll go for a swim in the oasis. Just as soon as I'm off duty, that is. Now that things have calmed, I've slowed down enough to realize I'm so tired I can barely move. I'll continue my patrol here in a bit, but I think I might have a sit for a while. Yeah. It's the highlight, now that you got rid of the rifts, I can return to town whenever I please. Well, sort of. I've still got to patrol this area for a while. Okay. Hello! Hi. <clears throat> I'm just poking around Drudo Town now that I've repaired the rifts to see what might have changed. Doesn't seem like much. Any new quests, maybe? I never found it. My big sus never actually believed that defeating monsters would fix things. She's quiet and kind of absent-minded, but she's also really astute at times. I might have to kill you. With the rifts gone, peace is returned, but it doesn't mean we should drop our guards. Though if something were to happen again, I know it would be able to handle it. Nah, I'd win. So, anything new in the shop? Probably not. I'll succeed. Welcome, how can I help you? The rifts are gone thanks to you. You saved us. If you're needing anything, please take your time looking around. Mm -hmm. No, not really. Yeah. With the rifts gone, I feel like I can finally rest and stop fretting. Not even sure I know how to rest anymore, though. Yeah. Dona did so good. Hmm, she's quite the captain. We're so proud of her, aren't we? Huh. Um, yes, I'm relieved things are better again. I'm taking a minute with my kitty. Okay. Let's see. There's a stolen away gal who we probably need to get the fan to, so they won't sit over there. We've seen this already. 
Spoken a word. What do you got? The fan. Da, da, da. I wonder if we'll get any more. It just repeats that. We'll get any more options for combat challenges now. Yeah. Someone told me you got rid of the rifts here in our desert, and I thought you were just some scrawny little thing. I'm impressed. Okay. Bit of an update there. Spots on top. Still nothing in there. Wondering what the purpose of that is. Thanks to everything's back to normal. I'm so grateful we came here, girl. Lady Facet seems to be back to herself, too. I'm so glad everyone is fine now. She was replaced by a doppelganger. Do not want to do tag right now. Okay. And then the house is up here. Try climbing in real quick. Let's see. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. That was not what I expected to happen. Let me on top of here. There we go. Anyone inside now? And... Still nobody inside. Wait, what are those objects in the house? Just various colored bags and fabrics and a, an elephant statue. They're not the kind we found in the temple. Huh. Yeah. Feels like an age since I've seen everyone so cheerful around here. As warriors will always go to battle, but I have to admit that peace is truly the best. Yes, this peace is what all true warriors strive for. Oh, oh the rifts here in the desert are gone now. It's been a while since I've seen the sand so pristine, so untouched. Thank you, girl. Okay. Let's see. What do you have to say? What do you think of my skills? I've Bidens. So fast you can't even track my movements, right? Right? This piece may not last long. I must continue my training and remain vigilant. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, and we can go through there now. Hey Zelda, the rest of made a mess of things, but I'm glad it resulted in meeting you. I'm sure your journey ahead will be challenging. You can always come here for a respite. Let's put down the nice bed we got here. Soft bed. Oh, we already healed up somehow. Uh, yeah. Zelda, you saved my life. Who knows what would have happened if you had not come? Sira, uh, Zelda, the chief, we drew, owe oh, you a great debt. You're welcome to visit whenever you please. <laughs> we can go up top, and will that take me anywhere different? No, it's just the roof. Okay. What can we say to either of you? Yeah. We'll be able to go in here. Only authorized personnel beyond here. How can we get our authorization eventually? It does seem like there's something still holding me up. Oh, come on. That whips! Pretty annoying to get over. Yeah, we have to sort of go on the edge here. Stay on that whip and bring us over, and... There we go, because it tried to go up the wall. In this patch of dirt. Hello. Calm down. Oh, you scared me. How did you get up here? I'm impressed. Fell suit doing training, so I've got to report a whole new suit as punishment. Fill the sand, we probably take our way in eventually, but we can't do that yet. Get rid of these, since the Desert Temple Rift is gone too. Now we can just go back to... Funny... Zoroland. So Crossflow's Plaza up here, and I bet... I bet there was a stamp in here. There should be. But we'll have to get through that dungeon first before we can see what's on top. And then hopefully get every single stamp. That'd be fun. Well, it... I've gone through the entire game world. And the only part of the game world that I can't really get into... Well, there's this tiny rift. And a slightly bigger one here, but it's mainly this big one that actually covers up a meaningful part of the map. It's not even gamer instincts, it's just... Somewhat intelligent, you know, non-brain-dead human instincts. Maybe not even that. Okay, heard it off to Crossflow. It's been easy for one job or job. You've also heard that the two chiefs are having a big spot. We tried to meet with Chief Jad and Chief Kusara. As in the new one, or just Zelda in general? I think... Oh, I, I think there is something to be said. For the fact that... Zelda's just the protagonist, and she plays differently, and the game is different for it, but it's not really meant as some sort of statement. And I think that one thing that often comes with changes like that, which isn't true of this Zelda, is that there's oftentimes a sort of implication that, you know, they don't really want their normal audience to play the game anymore. But with this, with 
Echoes of Wisdom, it's just, okay, this is a Zelda game, and now Zelda is the main character. And it's just, they don't really linger on it more than they have to. It's just, okay, Zelda's playable. You play as Zelda. Okay, cool. And it's... You know, she's Zelda, but she's still a stand-in for the player as much as Link is. She's relatively silent, and it's really just her story at the same time as it's the player's story, if that makes any sense. It isn't preachy, and it doesn't really insist on itself, so to speak. It, it isn't condescending or anything. So I could see. Well, that's that's what I mean, is that... She's undoubtedly the protagonist, and she's undeniably Zelda. But there's not any kind of thing like... There, there was this video essay that I saw a little bit of, and it was just kind of like, okay, this is really annoying and condescending. That tried to establish and talk about a lot of the sort of childbirth, menstrual, sort of very biologically female themes in the game Bloodborne. But instead of being like, oh, you know, this is a cool thing, you know, you can learn, you know, you can understand an experience that isn't yours conveyed to you through the themes of this game. It's just like, ooh, evil stinky gamer boys, you can't play this game anymore because this game is for girls now. Which is a very different attitude. Then I think this game approaches, which is just, okay, this is Zelda. You're Zelda now, isn't you are Zelda. You know, you experience Zelda's story, you relate to Zelda. You experience this world as Zelda, as a woman. You know, it's it's an invitation rather than a confrontation. That's what I'd say. Okay, can we talk to you now? Sword Jabba Jabba's den, can't get back there now, what you doing? So they should be coming over here, right? Each over the den, and the river, and each other's gills get on. Yeah, exactly, it's... It's just good politics, for lack of a better term. Are we squabbling lately? Those two won't perform together anytime soon. So where do they go? Shovel Waters Rift. Oh, so they're actually over here. Okay, so what am I going to need to do to actually convince them to work with each other? Hmm. But... In a lot of situations... People are looking for someone to hate and feel good about the hating. It explains a lot of things. On Shilinen? Good luck to him. Well, I guess that means he survived Florida. That's good. Second. Yeah, Florida is getting hit hard right now. Season Zora have come to Crossroads Plaza, but I'm pretty worried. The situation looks like it's getting tense. Hello? Oh, now they're dried. How dare you? Shouldn't have come here. I'll take care of Ward Jabba Jabba myself, but we need both of them to get lost. My thoughts precisely off with you. Grumble, grumble. Okay. Okay, because Drad called me here, but boy, have things gotten messy for the boss. Well, what's going to happen now? Rogma said I should come, but I never expect to see the River Zora Chief here, too. Sure, this will end badly. Yep. Well, not all of Florida is in danger. Most of Florida. One of the few places that's actually somewhat okay is Miami, which is funny. But. Oh. Hey, Kashar, you can stuff your plan. Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Well, glad you're okay. Second. Glad you're safe. Okay. We have the sea zor will bring calm to our Jabba Jabba. Our music can quiet his range. Ridiculous will do it, not you. Thanks, they're at it again. It was only a matter of time before these two exploded, but not here, not now. The way you play, you're just enraging more through crude honking, so we'll play. Insults always insults, says more about your music than mine. But sure, let's do this, you're playing as a weak, it's puny, it won't have any effect. What, now you've done it, there are some things you can't take back, you know. Grr. Oh. It's time we settle this, one last performance to see who's playing is superior. 
Rhythm game? No problem. On the count of three, we both play. The best player wins. What perform together in this state? My chief, with all due respect, he can't hope to put on great performance this way. It's no use. There's no stopping them when they get like this. We gotta beat them up. Oh, big horn. And a harp. Oh, cute. It. I love the art style. Oh, the notes are colliding with each other. That's funny. They're not in sync at all. But it. Every character in this game would be a phenomenal little uh. plastic figurine. Just and they all have a very sort of shiny toy aesthetic to them too. It actually looks a bit like Pokemon Rumble to me. That was terrible. They didn't play in time with each other, not at all. And oh, it made him mad, didn't it? Oops, oops. And oh, there's Jabu Jabu. It looks very similar to Jabu Jabu from Ocarina of Time 2, or Jabu Jabu when he's angry. You came when you heard my performance, didn't you? How did you like it? I played Pokemon Rumble Blast on the 3DS so much when I was a lot younger. Huh, there's no question that my playing was what brought him here. No, it was because you both sucked. Shut up already. Oops. Oh. Big fish. Huh? Oh, and he's gonna eat them? Boss, watch out. Shikashara, get back. Oh, they're gonna get eaten. It's a fun one. Ah. And... So they didn't get sucked in. I mean, they'll be fine. The inside of Jabu Jabu's belly was a dungeon in two different Zelda games. It's survivable. How can this be? Go down with both of them. There's no time to delay. I'll go in pursuit of War Jabu Jabu and rescue Rogma. No fair, no head starts. Stop competing. Our friends are in danger. Forget this talk of head starts. Be first. It's more of a fish than a whale. Hey, you cheater. For one has teeth. Well, some whales do have teeth. Some. This is getting out of control. We still haven't been able to ask them what we need. We've got to open that door in the dead for us, but that'll never happen at this rate. My friends are there. Cry harder. What a mess. Hmm. Where Jabu Jabu went up river, do you think he's headed towards your village? Uh, I bet you're right, Oh no, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oops. Where Jabu Jabu seemed to be upset by the terrible performance. In Gulp Down 2 of the Zora, the chiefs had a northern pursuit of Where Jabu Jabu. I didn't quote that on purpose. Where Jabu Jabu inhaled my friend's Kirby, and now he's heading for my village. What's gonna happen? What can I do? Hmm. I can't believe this has happened. I really hope that the chiefs can figure out some way to work together. Hmm. Sing. Hmm. Zora is usually great when playing together, but that hurt my ears, and for some of them to get gobbled up like that, what a sight. Where? What are you referring to? So where did they head? I oh I did not mean to burn myself. That was not good. I know the Huta rap. I know that was Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. Going up river. Does that mean... Villager? Oh, huh. Paimon rap. Paimon rap. Yeah, I never checked the voice lines, really. There are a lot of them. It's tough. Oh, and that's broken. So Jabu Jabu must be there. Maybe. Fair enough. Not in there. It must be outside, but only one's there now. Got to sort out. No, that's just a trend. Is it really true that Lord Jabu Jabu got angry and swam off somewhere? One thing I do know, he's not here. I've heard him behind the door. Let's go back. Oh, that bridge broke. Hmm, okay. Let's go up to the River Zora Village. What is interesting is that... It's basically... The original Link to the Past, Zora's River, was not actually on the map. It was a separate instance, which kind of matches this a bit. Kind of. More of the fish. And oh, some of the islands have been upturned. All right. Hmm. So let's look into here. That's broken, too. Huh. All right, then. Who is in the village? Oh, uh-oh. Here we are. Yeah. What are they looking at? Boss. Was that the River Zora Chief? It came from over there. Is that a cave or... Chaos at River Zora Village. 
Follow the chiefs to the rivers or a village where you heard rats shout from somewhere around the village. Somewhere around the village. Oh, that house is broken. Not great. Welcome to the rivers or a village where friendly hole it was that oh never mind. What was that loud ruckus all about? I heard Drad's voice too. What in the world is going on? What do you have to say about this then? Any new info? Can I help you? Uh, no, no, no. I. Oh. Heard what sounded like a loud shout. It wasn't that long ago, but my shop is open as usual. Goodness. Always with an eye to business. Let's check this. This is... What was that shout just before? This is all getting too scary. I like to eat my favorite things in awful times. It really keeps my spirits up. I like that they're all remarking on it. It's cute. So I bet that this rift over there might be where things are. Hi. I heard a loud sound and saw that my neighbor was in real trouble. Or Jabu Jabu had an east of here as everyone else all right. I was about to start my swim practice and more Jabu Jabu race right by me. I always tell everyone that the water's scary. See, I was right. I'll never swim again. When Jabba Jabba came out of nowhere and wrecked my house, where'd he go? It, it really is. He searched up that waterfall. I think I also heard someone yell over there. This is all really bad. Mm -hmm. Me one no house. Nothing in there. Check the remaining homes. Let's see if anything is anything to say. Another Zora kid. This is really bad. Our Jabba Jabba just tore through our village and headed off that way. My friend was over there. Maybe that shot we heard was her. Hmm. It's the chief's house again. Oh, you're in the water. It's the boss Rad's house. Watch over her stuff. Yeah, you totally trust me. I heard a terrible shot outside somewhere, but I won't abandon my post. Well, but I do want to know what's going on out there. There's another cave this way. wonder whether we'll be able to access it when it's restored. Where to get up is behind this path. No, we actually went in the house. Other people! This one account I saw, a newbie fury account. Okay, that's open, so we can go in there and maybe find him. Joke that Shilinan is basically a dedicated newbie fury buffer. So Madrad must have gone in there. Oh, my papa and Dread. It's alright, I'm here to help. I'll help find your father and the chief. You can open that, something awful's happened here. Hmm, the Hylian, hello again. Chief Dread and I fought behind more Jabu Jabu as he rampaged through here. For Jabu Jabu wasn't himself, he struck my poor papa who fell into the rift. That's when Chief Dreadnought got here, only see the rift suddenly grow. Dread saved this child from being caught, but was then swallowed up himself. I can't sit where Jabba Jabba was gone, but Dread, oh, it's all too terrible. Mm. Yeah, as it rivers or a village, you found Kashar on the east side of the village, as our father fell into a rift during Lord Jabba Jabba's rampage. So did Dread while sending a child from the same fate. The Papa boss Dread there in the rift. Protecting this child, Dread got swallowed up by this rift. Oh, Dread. Not so bad. Drad, not bad. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Alright then. Let's check. Yeah, that's gotten a bit bigger. Let's go inside. Try creating an entrance in a small rift. It's sort of Drad the other river, Zora. Once we do this. Oh, wait. Oh, I wonder if they have anything to say about that. About us opening that entrance. And since my friends here, they're trapped. They're trapped with five errors to be exact. Let's go to the mall. We can fix this rift. Yeah, five of them. Still the upper Zora River. What looks like a bot? I swear that everything looks like a bot to you. Mm, okay, do yeah, they have anything new to say? Now we open this up. Let's see. Hmm. I... No. Can you go in there? Can you save my papa and the boss? There's a hole in the rift now. Is that an entrance of some sort? Yes, yes it is. It... I think your word for this specific part of the anatomy is a little inaccurate. It's okay, though. This one is pretty big, just like the desert temple one. This is a good starting point. There's one just in here. That's simple. There's our first try, friend. That was free. Yeah, it's all right. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The seventh planet. Is that what you're referring to? Oh, you can chop the flowers. No, no. 
Oh, there's something up here, too. And also down this way. Okay, understandable. Oh, well, poor Zelda. No fall damage, though. Okay. Around here, we can go up in the water. Up on the other side. Oh, look, an Octorok. Fun. Okay, what's well, good damage? Come on, come on. I Please, down there. Thank you. I oh, oh, ah, I did not mean to put you on my head. Okay, can I... Ooh, does that not go over the water, or... Not like that. Hi. Right over there, spawn you in at a distance. That was the improvement we got from our other level. It didn't give us the ability to summon anything stronger, sadly. I don't know. Steel. There's something in a cave there. Hmm. Let's bridge up real quick. Also, apparently... Let me just check. Apparently, you might be able to just keep spamming tiles and jumping on the tiles. Maybe. I know that if you time it right, you can... No, I think you need a higher jump. I know that you can get a higher jump eventually. Random Twitter quip, unfortunately, spoiled me on that. So, Bombfish. Oh, you'd be able to get Bombfish here, maybe. That'll loop back around. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Come on. Thank you, Bombfish. Come here pretty easily, then. Oh, annoying. Yeah, with you, then. With the Bombfish, or... Come on. Now yeah, that's opened up, and it's chasing the Bombfish instead of me, which is good. Oh, okay. So did you put in something completely useless to try to con them or something? Yeah, I can't believe I guessed that. Okay. You know, I'd like to think you'd be able to upload something useful. But my lack of faith was unfortunately rewarded. So underwater, we got a bomb fish here. Oh well. I'll blow that up. Underwater, the is actually real good underwater. Get that low. Another try friends. I wonder how much more experience we get from this for try. I might be able to get another triangle from this, ideally. Eh, maybe not. Go ahead. Shoot it. Shoot the tanker. Oh, right, we do have the shark. Right, there's so many echoes, it's legitimately rather hard to keep track of them all. Come on, come on. Beery, beery. Let's see if the shark can get it. Shark is a pretty far way away, cat. Oh my goodness. You're ridiculous. Okay, so that was intermittent. So you made you made the world a little bit worse. Congratulations. Just a little. Okay, and right over there. Head smack it. Well, all right, and oh, did that- oh, killing that tech dot again over tri another try friend Okay, nice. You can be broke and ridiculous. It's very possible. That will take me over there, so that just loops around. There's nothing new. Okay. Bombfish, come on. Keep you there. Yep, all right, and back on the ladder. Go up. Okay. Hmm. Could get over there, I think. Yeah, it's just that. Let's bed and then a crawl to the take me up. Oh goodness. Something something Italian Robin Hood. And we got keys there. Let's let that boomerang do it. Oh, you can't aim high enough. Well, that's unfortunate. I maybe the spear mod would do a better job. I want to see everything I've got access to, because I've got so much. Okay, level oh, 2 Spear Moblin. Really should be able to let you favorite things. There you go. But at least he was your friend once. Not like he's an enemy, right? Maybe. It's down there. Oh, so you'd be able to get up here by swimming in that water if you climbed up here. Okay. There's also this water. Well, oh goodness. Come on. I made that harder for myself than I had to then, but I can get here, come up that, get back on the tree. Oh goodness. 
You just didn't care. So, there's Drad. Nice. Okay. There he is. Oh, annoying. We'll go back to normal, just like the others, so we can fix this rift. So, this rift is fixed. Let's see if we can make stronger echoes now, maybe. We found all of my friends in this area, and now we can mend this rift. Fun. Wonder where the next trial level is. It could be cool. Also, kind of be a reference to the Wiz Triforce of Wisdom pieces in the original Zelda. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. And it should be fixed, right? Right? Oh, okay. Just insensitive. Ouch. My friend showed some of their power with me. Let's see. Nope, not enough yet. It seems like you can't get to level 4 at all, no matter what, until you both of the dungeons. A couple more my crystals. You wish. So, let's go back to your world now. 83 in total, I'd say. Main thing is... Apparently, you can summon Shamron in the new Dragon Ball game that just came out. Apparently. So there was no cave, that was just a freestanding rift. It's me of all Zora swallowed up by a rift. Yeah. My goodness, Rad, don't be so precious. I think this highway into his calling who precious? You really freely gale this girl. Lost Rad, what's wrong with my papa? I'm not sure what to do it, but you can... One of the wishes is to get another outfit from the store for free, a random outfit. And someone selected it, thinking it would give them a preview, and it just wasted their wish. Caught in that darkness, so a hole can't breathe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, what's wrong with you? Oh, I was stolen away. It's like he's stuck back in there. And I will unstick him. Well. Oh, so we're seeing this sort of trauma in real time. Oh, no, it's the music, maybe. Well, if you don't want anything else, I suppose. Also, the music she just played. This little snippet of the Zora's Domain theme from Ocarina of Time. Did that help? I'm, um, I'm... Um. Oh, okay, now thanks to you. So is the power of music, maybe? Hmm. But it was Sea Zora music healing a River Zora. Ah, oh, well, the music of the Sea Zora wears frantic thoughts into a deep calm. Can't stop writing even now. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Oh. The performance, good as it gets. Oh. Chief, Kish Chief Kishara, Chief Kishara. Oh, more scary music. Jabu Jabu and the Rift? Okay. What's the matter? It's for Jabu Jabu, he's in Zora Cove. Huh? Right then, let's go. What do we gotta do now? Hey, wait for me. So we went to the river and out of the sea, I almost forgot about you. Kishara said he saved us, who are you anyway? A Zelda, huh? I know I've heard that name. Well, Zelda, I owe a big thanks, but that's gotta wait. But they don't know Zelda. Some people have said it's interesting and fun that the additional villages, the Deku, Gerudo, Zora, and Gorons are right are outside of the part of the map of the game that was in the original Link to the Past. So there's sort of the implication that these areas were always right outside but couldn't be accessed, and it's might it might be why they don't really know Hyrule. I need to catch up with Kishara, I owe her big time too. Ooh. See you around. Yep. Okay, and kids are there, so let's move on. There they go again. The music she played was pretty nice. She was better by, better by herself. Uh-oh. Saved Dran and the River Zora by taking care of the Rift. Dran had only a moment to thank you, then left to fall after jo where Jabu Jabu and Kishara. Took care of the small Rift near the River Zora village, didn't those who had been swallowed up, including Dran. The chief sent chase after where Jabu Jabu was surged down to Zora Kumu. Oh, yeah. It's a crab. Hello. The Rift finally got me. I can't believe it. At least it's me. Couldn't stand it if my daughter got caught. Yep. Kusharp was great, wish I could be as cool as her, or Jabu Jabu left here and went down south. So in that case, his music will probably save someone in Zora Cove somehow, I would imagine. Let's go check to see what they might have to see now that the rift is closed. I wonder if this house is going to get repaired. Oh, there's a quest here now. Fun. Oh, probably repair the house. Or Jabu Jabu's rampage really wrecked my house. So I haven't even paid it off yet. Hello, kid. Oh, uh, my mom's being weird. She's staring at the pool in her house, talking to herself something about monsters. Ah, uh, she's going to feed me to monsters. 
Wait, no, that isn't it. So I'm sure she's very disappointed in me. I can't swim yet. I'm just too scared to try. Please, you've got to help me. Could you check in on my mom? Zora Child's fate. A boy who lives in the River Zora Village needs you to check in on his mother. She's been staring into a pool in their house, muttering to herself about monsters. Please, you got to help me. Could you check in on my mom? She's staring at the pool in the house. Yada yada, okay. That's this house. Oh well, right over there. Mm. Yeah. Oh my, it's Zelda, right? Heard that you rescued those who got caught in the rifts. Maybe you'll help me with a personal matter. Could you bring me some monsters? I'm going to use them for something. I would have scared the kid into the water to force him to swim. Let's see, first I need a monster that looks like a sinister fish. Please put any monsters you bring me in the water here. I'll give you some nuts if you can help, but feel free to do it in your spare time. See, monsters. As her mother needs a monster for something, she's asked to bring her a sinister fish monster. Let's see if there's any monster that looks like a sinister fish. Okay, cool. Let's put the shark in. And, will that do it? Maybe it needs to just be a tangler. Probably just a tangler. We'll check the notebook then. Tangler's right here. Hello. Oh yep, that works. Perfect, that's exactly the sinister looking fish monster I wanted. Hang on for a moment. Clonk, clonk, clonk. Hmm, this is tough enough for the job, but it's not getting it very shiny. So what is that? I, I didn't know that. I, I, I don't stalk you. I also don't stalk your friends. Thanks for the monster, it helped me learn more about what I need to know. Now can you bring you a monster that goes boom when anyone goes near it? So bomb fish, please put in the water here, just like you did last time. Got a sinister fish monster for the Zora mother, she learned what she could from it, but now it needs you to bring her a monster that goes boom when anyone gets near it. Okay, bomb fish. Well, does he like Zelda? Here we go, bomb fish. Oh, a bomb fish, that was definitely go boom when you get close to them. Now let's see. Shark maybe? Hmm, this wasn't good enough either, it's not getting it dazzling enough. But it does have a fine shine, looking better. Well, they get on shine. <laughs> Thanks for that monster, help me learn even more about what I need to know. Now please bring me a shocking jellyfish monster. We split in the water here, just like I did last time. You got a monster that goes boom when it goes near it. Now this Zora Mother needs you to bring her a shocking jellyfish monster. Okay. Haven't really made that jellyfish at all. That's fine. Right over here. There we go. The monster is exactly what I had in mind. The way it floats is pretty. Very, very pretty. Shifting colors and patterns. Zowie. Well, there you go. I wonder if she likes the new one. She can play as herself. Ah. Aha. Okay. At last, I did it. Got to say it turned out well, too. Now to see my son come with me. Probably gonna use it to scare him into the water. Madaka. Oh, like a fish. Mom, I'm not monster food. Oh. What oh Madaka? Because those are those are fish and Genshin. Kill me. Please just hold out your hand. Joy buzzer? A uh, scale. This one polished using the legendary technique known only as Zora. With the scale you'll be able to swim. Oh, okay, so Zora scales are an item that allows you to dive deeper in. Ocarina of Time, and some other Zelda games, but logically the Zora themselves wouldn't need it, right? Really? I know you've worried about not being able to swim, so it made you a special charm. You made this for me. Oh, so it's a sort of a psychosomatic or placebo, placebo. Dot, dot, dot. It's interesting that I have to learn to swim. Or someone humanoid, it doesn't make sense, I suppose. Semi-aquatic. I'll give it a try. Yeah! Boy. There he goes. Whoa, whoa, I can do it. I'm swimming. Aww. Well done, I always knew you could. Yay, swimming is fun. Thanks, Mom. Aww. That's cute. Thank you for your help. I can't begin to say how much this meant to us. I'd like to thank you by giving you the same charm I gave to Madaka. Oh. You got a Zora scale. It's a charm made with... Secret Zora methods and enables the player to hold their breath for longer underwater. I needed each of those monsters so I could research ways to polish scales. So bomb, normal fish, electricity. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Huh. Let's see. The Zora mother was able to make a Zora scale for her son after studying a few monsters, but he was finally able to swim just fine. So it actually does help with something. That's actually right in there. A charm made via secret Zora methods enables the player to hold their breath for longer underwater. A lot of these mimic potion effects, but this is special. Yeah, a lot of them are potion-related to an extent. Even damage reduction, okay. 
Hello. Oh, Jobby Jobby's Rampage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, kid. Splashy Splash, this water's cold and pretty cool, too. Different meanings, the similar kind of word. Go down to the cove, hello. My son has never liked water. He used to be afraid of even putting his face in it, but I'm glad he's just going for it now. Thanks for your help. No problem. Okay, anything here? Did you really help my friend? The chief of the seas are help, too. That's amazing, you're good people. So they should start getting along again, hopefully. And you? It's the boss rat's house. Trust me, watch over all the stuff. Boss has been gone a long time. Got the same word, they'll keep watching out. Okay. Check down here then. Some other Zora to talk to on the way. Let's see what they might have to say about the situation. Oh well. Your jobby job just came down the river and searched the plaza. Headed straight for the sea. Oh dear, I hope everyone will be safe there. Probably on the side of the plaza. There's no water connection here. Uh, so we're Jabba Jabba rampage into the sea. Is the Caesar village in trouble now? This is too scary. And what does that guy have to say over there? Well, annoying crab. What about a change in the water? Oh, that bridge is broken because he went through uh, there. Or Jabba Jabba wrecked the bridge. There's no way to get back to the village. Where'd he go? Went out to sea heading east. Okay. Well then. I wonder if the village has anything to say about that. Or Jabba Jabba surged out to sea from the river just over yonder. I knew it was the right call getting my boat out of the water. Hello? Go for some rock Zora music, but there's none of that right now. I hope or Jabba Jabba goes back to normal soon. Hmm. Thank you. I'd like to chat. Heard a loud noise outside earlier. I bet that was Lord Jabba Jabba on the rampage again. We haven't had any Zora customers in a while. When will this all end? Hmm. They are remarking on the situation. That's cool. And you. Zora told us they'd handle the problem before Jabu Jabu. Doing nothing doesn't feel right, but I'm not sure how we could, could even help. Oh. Don't want us all to have to leave our village, no matter how dangerous it's getting, so we really wish there was something we could do to help. Maybe they'll get the Zora to make up somehow. That'll be the human involvement. I'm so bored, so bored. I want to check out the cave I found, but no, they say it's too dangerous. Want to know about it really? To find the cave, jump in the sea, and swim your way kind of west here, follow the crypt. I went there. Well, for real, what's inside it? No, don't tell me. I want to find out for myself. Okay. Huh. Maybe so. Yeah, what's going to take for that word job job to calm the blazes down? It's so being a wicked one right now. That upper is keeping us men of the sea stuck here. Oh, is, is the Italian scared? Like only fish? Okay, okay. It's just the quest dialogue. So the quest for Sandra, it makes sense. And you? Hey. That boat house is handy for me. Seafarers need to slip away for a break. That's hard enough, but Earth, the waves rock the boat. See? So that's nothing there. Let's spin our way over. And there are other Zora to talk to around. Should be over here, I think. Chest open. Alright. Oh, and that's broken, so we came through here. That! Fair enough. Oh well. Oh no, or Jabu Jabu, which way? Went toward the island to the east. That, oh, over there maybe? Huh. No, farewell. Oh, it's also upsetting. I don't throw it at them. I just throw it in their vicinity. It's different. More Zora here, hello. Hi. Oh, this is bad, or Jabu Jabu appeared in Zora Cove. Not most of the time. I don't think they're fighting me. Chief Kishore went there too, seems like they're all heading toward the small island in the east. So who's here? What? Self-defense. When I hear Chief Kishore play, I kind of drift off. Her music is pretty beautiful. I'm getting sleepy just thinking about it. Okay. Hi. Come on, I think I can help you with. The one who stands the entrance to our village got any visitors went off somewhere. Something happened outside, yep. Oh, so they did not hear it? Huh. Well, it is underwater. It'll be muffled. Music is amazing by nature. It even has the ability to save lives. I would love to take part in a performance. It has that kind of impact someday. I would open the temple. Okay. Hey, oh, my friend went off on a play adventure and hasn't come back. He said it was going to go to a small island east of our village. I hope he's okay. Rogma has returned. I wonder if he's simply staying at Chief Kishara's side. He's quite a talented performer. I've loved to learn some music techniques from him. 
How many Zora are going to end up playing for this, then? Yeah. Oh, do you have business with Chief Kashara? She hasn't returned yet. I have a bad feeling about it, too. Please don't tell me something awful's happened to Kashara. Oh. I know I do update all this dialogue rather diligently. Let's get that heart back. Thank you. Okay, then. Go up top side. Over this way. The island in the east. Past a rift. Not sure that one was here before. Eh, yeah, probably. Oh, uh, and here we are. Gra. Oh. That was Drad, wasn't it? What's he groaning about? Rampage in Zora Cove. You went to Zora Cove in pursuit of more Jabu Jabu. You heard Drad groaning from somewhere. Oh, monsters. Great. So, what do you have to say? Oh, it's blocked. Ah, the kid's in there. Right. So, we went through this cave before, so I'll do it again. Broth is too heavy. Oh. We're here, oh you again, Zoe. You can kind of tell we're in a real jam here. My son and Chief Kashara are both trapped in this cave, so they save each other. My son wandered off, and I'd just come to find him. More John Bajati stormed in. Chief Kashara was nearby during the confusion. She sensed my son was in the cave. She darted inside to make sure he was safe. And when this pile of rubble fell here, smack dab in front of the cave. What am I to do? Go into the water. Don't worry, keep calm. I've got this. Never met a pile of rocks I couldn't move. Well. Easier said than done. Maybe there's another way inside. Yep, down underwater. He's not going to hear a word until he moves those rocks. Maybe he'll listen to us if we get this rescue done first. Uh, what am I to do? It is. Well, they're in danger, though. Kishore and Azora Child are trapped in a cave on a small island. Drad can't move the rocks blocking the entrance, not even with his great strength. Find another way in. These rocks aren't going to budge. Maybe a better to look for another way inside. After I heard that word, Jabba Jabba came down to Zora Cove. I was sure to help Chief Kishore. Who knew that any of this could happen? Oh, how terrible. Alright. Send her shark at them. <coughs> oh, goodness. Come on, come on. And, well, you got... You got got. There we go. Cool. Thank you. Not dead yet. Here now. Oh, and this is the dark cave, I think. Let's see. Might be. So we can use our glow in the dark fish. Tingle level two. Electro charcuted. Charcutery? Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There. Now also, as it turns out, Oron is going to be a four going to be a four star. But also he's a sub DPS who buffs the party by triggering when electro charge reactions go off. So he's yeah, he's kinda like Chevros apparently. What Chevros does for overload, but a bit more of a damage focus. Which we'll see how he does. But he might make Taser useful again on its own merits. I like when they give supports like that. Because I think it strikes a balance between basically inventing new reactions like they did with the new with Bloom, though, to be fair. That is that is definitely sort of a 5-star, 4-star thing versus just getting buffs triggered by certain suboptimal reactions. It's a decent halfway measure that also prevents too much FOMO. Well, it... There were a lot of people... There are a lot of people who like the fact that there was going to be a male official alternative now. So... It's okay, everything's going to be fine. Help is surely on the way. Mm. You promise? Mm. Hmm? Uh? You're the Highland. Did he truly manage to swim through all those monsters to reach us? Huh? Mm, yes, quite the capable one, aren't you? Also, it just means... Well, I wonder... He wouldn't work all that well with Milani or Kinich. Because Electro would mess up the aura of the team once. But apparently, he's going to work pretty well with Chaska. Just Chaska's whole deal is that she doesn't deal... She deals all kinds of elemental damage at once. Because she'll shoot bullets, which... If they're swirlable element characters in the party, it'll randomize itself to shoot a bullet of their element's damage. So she just triggers a lot of kinds of reactions. So you can make a taser team running her. A taser swirling team. And have Aura on there to deal bonus damage by triggering the electric... When you trigger that electric charge and also just buff 
both Hydra and Electro by triggering the effects of the new Not One Artifact set. Well, I I don't know. Unless Capitano is Hydro, I don't think he will. Yes, yeah, quite the capable one, aren't you? Because presumably Capitano is going to be crying. We'd hope to get out through there. So, so we can blow this up from the other side. I can't take the child in those waters. We need another means of escape. Well, it... It is what it is. Oh, so we can pull, unblock that from the other side. And bow on that. There was that exit, but it's blocked by a pile of rocks. I can't push it or pull it. Obviously, you know what to do. I'll never get out of here. Well, sort of asked but is there anything you can do to help? We found Chief Kishore in the Zora Child inside the cave. The child was afraid, which would make him escaping the water route too difficult. The cave's exit is blocked by a pile of rocks. I'm sorry, that's how is there anything you can do to help? I'll never get out. Sob. And we can pull that out of the way, and there we are. Cool. Okay. Oh, the rocks. And we out. We move that pile of rocks. Now we might be able to leave this place. What is your name, Holly? And it's Zelda. Well, she didn't even hear the last time because she ran off too quick. Zelda, that sounds familiar. Well, we have my thanks. Raw and... Okay, so we probably got rid of the other pile. Let's get in there and save your kid. Yes, please. My son, you're safe, so we work together. Send your safe water relief. Dread, what are you doing here? Just paying you back for saving my friend. Zola, when did you get here? Sub, you're right, son. We can easily go outside now. Sub, so crying, your safe child. There's nothing to be afraid of. Probably his music now. Poor kid's frozen in the fin, too scared for words, so it's some invigorating music. There we go. Let me see, that might be familiar. Let's see. Yeah, that was that was one from Majora's Mask. That was one of the songs, the Zora song you played on your instrument in Majora's Mask. So there was a Zora's Domain theme there, but that was the New Wave Bossa Nova that they call that in Japanese. So that's cool. So that was a reference to... Oh, wow. Let me just check that again. It... I just... Really, really, I think I actually saw something mentioning that the music they played was a reference. That's why I knew that I, I should have looked up something. It, I, I, I've been doing music stuff for a long, long time. How's that? Oh, much better. Thank you. Yeah, River Zora music is poor oomph. Um, it'll get anyone's fins back in fighting form. So originally, that was meant to... In Majora's Mask, you basically use it to ride a turtle, I think? Yeah. Make a turtle move and bring you somewhere. To a dungeon. Aha, uh -huh, your sound is superior. So they recognize each other. I'll admit it, Drow, that performance is magnificent. You could have guessed that your music could help one of my people. Don't forget, you helped one of mine too, just repaying a debt. I didn't get a chance to say it, but the way you played it was great and honored to hear it. How how tall how tall would the quiff be? Well, you know, it was nothing really. It's kind of awkward, isn't it? We never trade compliments. Dot dot dot. Ship? Every now and then dread. How about we put our squabbles aside and try to help each other out? Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Ouch. I just opened my glider. I just opened my glider. And we're agreed, and when you and I work together, we're a strong time that whips all. Oh? Mm -hmm. What's that? You know, it's before Lord Jabu Jabu's den. And if Zelda, yes, we're indebted to you, but we must focus on finding Lord Jabu Jabu. Ooh. Zelda might have the right idea, though, going to its mm -hmm. den. Oh, really? Uh. Of course, that rift. So, Lord Jabu Jabu swim back north while you were stuck in here. Could be that he's gotten towered out after his rampage and gone back to his den. 
Then I'll just use my elytra. Hmm. That would make sense where Jabu Jabu Rio moves around this much, but how huh? to get into the rift? Underwater, we'll grant your request, Zelda. Let's be on our way immediately. <laughs> we will meet you at more Jabu Jabu's den. Okay. Where are they going then? Thank you for saving my boy. Wish you well on your travels. Thanks, Zelda. Full of head. Save Kishara, the Caesar or child trapped in the cave. Kishara and Jarad found this to be a good moment to come and enter their squabble. Jarad and Kishara promise to perform together at the den, and Lord Jabba Jabba is likely to return there as well. Head to the den to meet them all. Okay, there you go. Anything new? Some here. Hi. Where does that word Jabba Jabba return to his den? Chief Kishara and the others are going there too. I hope they're all okay. Let's check around. Zora Place. See Zora Village. See Zora Village. River Zora Village. What do you mean by that? Oh. Where Jabba Jabba passed by, he ran his way toward the river. I hope he settles down soon and just goes back to his den. Seems where Jabu Jabu has left the area, but I'm sure, sure it's no more than a pause before it's next to come. Let's go down here. Oh, the kid's back. Yeah. Chief Kishar and Chief Dread made up. I've heard Chief Kishar say that Dread's are brat. Brash had stress out a shark, but everything's okay between them now. Yeah. Thanks for saving me. It's fun going and play adventures, but I didn't know it could be so dangerous. Fair enough. What about before? Ah. That make a difference? Oh. Heard that Chief Kishar and Chief Dram made up. It's great news. I wonder how many makeups that makes it by now. Funny. Yep. Chief Kishar and Chief Dread are actually two peas in a pod, aren't they? Both look their friends here, both are well loved by their friends. Yep. Yeah. Oops. Oh. Guess what? My friend came back from his play adventure. Did you help him too? Thank you. What are the yeah. rivers are anything to say? What we really see in those are the river, but called Zora. It looks so different. We look so differently. I was thinking about perplexing things like this. Okay. Thank you for rescuing my son. I have Chief Kishar and Chief Dread. My thanks as well. Hmm. Surface and dive. Let's move back up. And we want to talk to here. Oh, more birds. Don't like that much. Come on. Hello. I believe more Jabba Jabba left the sea. He's a calm spirit by nature. What could have gotten into it lately? Go back up this way, should have more information. Hello, dude. Ah. Or Jabba Jabba's on the move again, going back upstream. I bet he, that he's headed to his den. I might say, in the other villages. Ah. This fellow consoled me the whole time. I was worrying over the state of our sea clan. Ooh. Thank you, you brought me calm when I needed it the most. Ah. You me too, I was so worried, so right back at you. Mm. It sounds like Or Jabba Jabba has returned to his den with a crossroads plaza. Wait here until we receive orders from Chief Kishar and Chief Drad. So we to go after them and help out too. What's wrong? Hi. Chief Kishar and the others rushed by. They told us to stay here until calm prevails. Yeah. The Jabba Jabba's den is near here, but I guess we got to leave it to the big bosses. Ah. Farewell. I want to get to that den more than anything, but you know, we've got to stay put. Yep. Wonder if the village people have anything new to say. Maybe not. Now that Jabba Jabba is back. Oh. Last time I saw where Jabba Jabba was surging up the river, so I'm not going back out to sea, not knowing when he'll show up here again. Okay. Oh. Azura told us. Okay, okay. It's not new. Yeah. Also not new. Okay. Yep. Let's check the options. Hello. Ah. That's still the same. Don't want to miss a thing. Uh. Anything? Oh. Heard a lot of noise it said earlier. Okay, yep. that's the same one, so she couldn't really tell. Okay, like, she was, was in the ocean going Ooh. up or down the river. Okay. So, hey, so what was in the cave? That's kind of west of here. No, don't tell me. Gotta go there super myself. Saw that, but it skipped straight without a prompt this time. Okay, what's gonna take? Okay, that's the same. Wonder if we'll get a quest about that boat out there, maybe, once they can go out to sea again. That could be cool. Check over here. Hello. Hey. This boathouse. Okay, alright. Let's go in the River Zora Village. I wonder if they would even would have heard anything. Maybe they'd have not from Drab, but they'd probably have heard about. Can I even go in 
This is in the Caesar village. I didn't think I even went to the room. Welcome to the River Zora village. Where's Lord Jabba Jabba gone to now? His wave of destruction will ruin Jabba waters. Ouch. Anything here? Hello. Can I help you? For the Caesar where the music performance before, it's a gentle sound. It's good for the heart and the mind. They're getting a great night's rest. So I guess they're just chilling again, maybe. Mm -hmm. or at the den, that's right. Okay, when I want to fill my tum tum, I go shopping at the shop next door. Can't fight without a good meal in me. Fight. Well, the River Zora are a bit more bulky. I'm assuming they're, that, they're a bit like Kappa. Jabba Jabba's Rampage will wreck my house. Okay. Saw that before. You should just say something about the swimming quest. Okay, yep. It's that again. Talk to the chief's aide real quick and see. Jabba Jabba should spit some out then. Did you really have my friend? Okay, okay. That's the same as before. I have anything new to say, but yeah, it would make sense that they wouldn't get any new information. Because this is on the other side of the dent, they wouldn't have gone here. Okay, cool. Let's check. Caesar report one more time and go back to the plaza. And the den. So I wonder what the actual dungeon here is going to be. Additionally, if we're going to be doing a lot of underwater stuff, it makes sense to equip accessories related to stuff underwater, which means. Quicksand won't do anything for me right now. Like this. Knockback reduce is kind of eh. There we go. Full. Oh. Swimming. Oh, that's really significant, actually. I should have had that already. Okay. I wonder if there's going to be a spin speed or just general speed up one. Maybe the jumping boost will be an accessory, possibly. Maybe. Okay, hello. It's really true that Chief Kishore and Chief Dread finally made up. I have to admit that I think it's adorable when she quivers in anger, but getting along is good. Kind of toxic. Okay. Let's go over here. Mm. Thank, you, thank you. Check this out. Mm. Alright. We're here, outside. Oh, it's a mess in there. Hunks of the sea and came down. And scary stuff. I got him fast. I think Lord Jabba Jabba came back here and thrashed him deep in his den. Buster Red went outside, though, and so did Kishar. I'm afraid of what's next. You know, I am too. That makes two of us. Actually, not really. We can beat pretty much anything. Rocks have fallen and... Hello there! Hi. We have to... The pedestals are covered by rocks now. Or Zelda. I hear him behind that door then. So I suppose he'd have to come through underwater? When Jabba Jump did return here. We've got to get through this door, right? We normally perform here to open the way, but it's not so simple now. One of the altars upon which we perform is broken like I wore Jabba Jabba, so we have to probably piece it back together. We can't put it together until it's repaired. We both have rubble on them. We have to get the altars ready for us, but how? First things first, I suppose. Clean the rubble seems like the easy part. Okay. Right, there we go. Or Jabba Jabba's rampage has made a ruin of this den. Dread Kishore can't perform until it's been restored to normal. Oh, I don't believe there is strength enough in my fins to move any of this rubble, but no, I mustn't give up hope. Uh, Trying to move that big rock earlier used up too much of my strength, but gotta get ready to play music. Yep. Move this off. That's one. Put it away, and then find the pieces to put it back together. There's one. Where's the other piece? It's underwater. Yep, yep. it's underwater. Need to dive and pull that back up. That's fine. Here we are. We can... Position. That was simple. There we go. It's still got a crack in it. Fair enough, though. Oh, we can perform now. Nice. You helped us yet again, Zelda. We need a little more time to set up. Just sit tight and enjoy. Fade to black. Music time. Super's domain. New Wave Boss and New Wave. Honestly, they still don't sync all that well. Horn and Harp just don't sound that great together, frankly. At least not in anything other than a sort of classical setting. 
They should have played the Nutcracker Waltz. They should have played... They, they, they should have just played the Nutcracker Waltz. That's something with both horn and harp. That sounds good. Phew. The way they played at Crossroads Plaza wasn't anything like that. But it sounds so different because they got along. Playing in town with each other? Who knew that'd be so fun? Kashar, you were fantastic. Oh, well, you weren't half bad either, Dread. Playing in town with each other? I don't get it. They played together last time too. What changed now? They seem pretty happy. What? I just... There, there were multiple Christmas concerts that I had to do in choir where we sang while an orchestra played. Sometimes we'd trade off. And one of the songs that they played that, of course, we didn't sing along with was the Nutcracker Waltz. Trad. Excuse me, I'd like to apologize. I behaved terribly. I hope you can forgive me. Kashara. Uh. I feel the same. Sorry for everything. We didn't mean to hold you up self, but the door is now open. We never have gotten this far without We owe you big time. Huh? Let's go in to see more Jabu Jabu. Yes, together. And, well, the rift's gonna get in the way, right? Well, somehow that seems kind of like a bad idea. The two chiefs played in unison, and their performance opened the door to the den, where Jabu Jabu is within, confront him, and demand that he return the two Zori he culped out, and probably let's go in the rift. Alright. Maybe a fight here? I can see things floating. Or Jabba Jabba, we ask that you return our friends to us, please. Our friends are very dear to us. Oh, I have an idea. I bet we get him in a better mood if we perform like we did earlier. They're probably gonna get eaten too now. And that's why our best, right? Oh, oops. Uh oh, he, he's still angry? That doesn't make sense. Something's a little off here. A little things have been a lot off ever since he started acting wild. Fighting again? With that big fish looks Zelda, it's got to be another imposter from Rift. Oh, so a fight? An imposter? Oh, now that you mentioned it, that would explain everything. You said anything about an imposter among us. The round thing next to Zelda thinks that. Alright. Dread has been a Rift, he can see me. Alright. Let's see after they go through the Rift. Yeah. Sure has not. I have no idea who you're talking about, but well, I'll take your word for it. Sussy imposter. Let's show this fake fish you can't mess with the Zora, and I bet giving it a good film will fix all the problems too. Well, I found what is rad. Let's all dive on in then. More Jabu Jabu that's been on a rampage is an imposter that came from the rift. Defeat this fake one Jabu Jabu and save the Zora and we'll go gulp down. Let's defeat this imposter that'll solve all our problems. It's for actual Jabu Jabu, I would never think of striking him. But we'll do it unless this imposter. Ah. Gonna eat us or alright, we're right behind you. Let's go. And... Oh, it's blocked up. Got a mini bosser. What's this? We're cut off from Zelda. And no boss name, so... Let's be another dungeon. I can make an entrance to the rift directly behind that big fish. Not until that creature is out of the way. Mm. Okay, I... Oh, we got more monsters coming. All right. So where are you coming from? I... Can we... Fine, Jabu Jabu then. Let's see. I uh, can we pull that? Not really. We'll just keep attacking. So I guess it's really just gonna be a matter of Oh maybe the theory could do something about that. Could we could we still then or I oh never No, we can definitely I'll say bombfish in. Bombfish. Aha! Yep. Bombfish blew you up. Spits you back out. Nice! The bombfish are kind of a... kind of a gimmick to an extent here. Okay, let's just see what Fury can do. Maybe if they eat a Fury. Maybe? I... Ah, uh, annoying. Come on, go for electricity. Please, please. Electric. Ah, oh, it's way too slow. That's annoying. Jump and spawn. Bombfish are definitely going to be the way we do this. I, okay, bombfish. We put another one in. No, no, no. Good damage. Cool. And send you here. Go ahead, keep biting and spinning. It's nice. And is that it? Or. Oh, goodness. That must just be a base transition. And oh, now you've got electricity. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Wait until you bomb fish again. It's an interesting fight. Especially since we got this to bonus, diving bonus. And keep biting. Yep. It's an opportunity to get hits in. 
Now it's bomb fish time. Come back, go ahead. Eat it, thank you. And once that explosion happens, we'll send the chop them back in. Thank you. Oh, they got a mini boss fight. It's a little bit like the one, but I suppose. And is that all? No more imposter Jabu Jabu. Yep. Here we go. And oh, yep, the two Zori who got eaten are back now. They did survive. Good. Oh, so that was terrifying. And oh, I'm sorry, sorry for all this. So our true rogue well all this because you left to my defense. Oh. Seeing you safe is a great joy, I think nothing of it. Hmm? Hey boss, looks like you and Kashara patched things Ooh. up. Well, you missed a lot, didn't you? We ended up helping each other out. Huh? We couldn't have done it without Zelda here. Ooh. Yep, that's an amazing way to go. Ooh. Yes, delightful. How fortunate that we were gulped down by Lord Jabu Jabu. <laughs> hmm. But if this Lord Jabu Jabu was an imposter, what in the world is the real one probably in the rift? Nope, there's an entrance right there. Hmm, I'm sure she's been swallowed by the rift. And... Ah, oh, the rift, huh? There's not much we can do. But hold on. Save me Zelda, can you rescue our Jabu Jabu? Uh. Yep. Seem to be our last hope. We save him if you can. Alright, they're still here. You defeated the Lord Jabu Jabu imposter. It's possible the real Lord Jabu Jabu is somewhere in the rift around the others hoping to rescue him. Good thing the boss was able to make up with Kashara. Now if only Lord Jabu Jabu would just come home. I feel so very grateful Zelda came to the end of the Zor and saved us all, so it's hard to fathom how the Chiefs actually put their differences behind them. I'm truly relieved. Yeah. I never imagined that Lord Jabba Jabba could just be gone and you're the only one who can rely on now. Please save him. Ooh. You can save Lord Jabba Jabba Zelda just like you saved me. He's a big deal to the Zor, our whole world in a way. He must do something. Alright. Yeah. Let's get that healing and then go in to dungeon number three. For us, because we could have done it as a second that we'd wanted. Alright, I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. And this should hopefully give me the ability to use five cost echoes after this, of which I have a number. Try an entrance in the large rift in Jabu Waters, head into it, and save Tribe's friends along with the real world Jabu Jabu. Anything to say here? Oh, to get up there, we have to go over this way first. Okay. Hi. Okay, hi. You. Okay, so nothing new. Hmm. Yep. It is cool to have River Zor and Sea Zor in the same game. The last time that happened was in Oracle of Ages, I believe, which on the Game Boy Color. Right, here we are. This is still Jumble Waters. That, this is a bit more orthodox. Larger still world segment that you start in and then go to the dungeon from, as opposed to Trudeau Sanctum, where you started in the dungeon and it took you, yeah, you eventually went outside to enter into the dungeon again from a different part. Okay. I can't see this all that well. Okay, so now we need to go around. Up top over this way. Mmm, that's tough. Okay, up here, or yep, right over there. Gotta make a bad bridge. Presumably. Oh goodness, I. That's there, but we need to come back up. Come on, come on. I'm there, but I can't reach that. Dumb. That's. Here we are. That'll work. Could have done another way, but I like that jump. A little tricky. Here we are. Should be some chest in here if it's an exterior segment. Why not all that bad? I like the little sort of fish scale pattern on the rocks here. Gives it a bit of flavor and, well, evil fish. Eat shark. Can't imagine. Yep, very good damage from that. King of the ocean. King of the waters. Whoopee. Down over there. Okay, we're just above that. Couldn't get up. Can't bridge that far. Can't get in there. Oh, well, they can just barely reach. Okay. Come on. That has nothing in it. It'd be funny if that was just a random light crystal, but it was not the case anyway. Up. Oh. Check in here. All grass must be cut. Oh, here's our water block echo. Finally. Okay, this is good. You are the water block echo. 
Look at it in a cube shape. If weighed next to others, you can swim through them. Uh huh. And the nice thing is that if you put one on top of each other, it just makes it bigger. Make it up to four high, which is really, really nice for climbing, with some exceptions. Clearly, the idea is basically bridge over this way. If you put a water block under water, well, not really a point to that, is there? Water on water. Now we can bridge over. That's nice. You can just swim directly from each body of water to the next. That's cool. Come on. Spin, spin. Spin, spin. The blocks, you can just put each on top. The other one. No matter of this, and can I... Up top? No, not like that. Oh, so that rises up, automatically rises up. Make four. Fun. There's a bit of a time delay, though. Hmm. So there were chests in Still World Desert Palace. I mean, Still World is River Desert. Still World for Southern Village, but not nothing here, it seems. I'm... All right. Also, I. What if I try drowning detect? I... Can I do that? I can't really. Come on. I... Oh, and it breaks that water. It's even worse. Come on. I... Oh, goodness. I... You're coming so fast. I hate that. Well, let's try not to die. Tech die, tech die, tech die. And then more hits. There we are. There's another one somewhere. It fell down. Tough enemies. I want to see. Oh, there's a boat there. A lot of things have fallen at this rift then. Whatever this is must be the dungeon. I don't know, probably the den? Jobby Drop's den? Maybe. Hmm. Alright. Gotta wait a little bit more for the heal. Hmm. Okay. It's definitely better, but I'm pretty sure we can get an even better bed eventually. Just want to see if that enemy survived that fall. So I'd like to kill it. And it... It did not, and that energy probably just couldn't survive water. So it can actually jump from the corner of one to the next if you're smart about it. But we don't need to finagle. We'll be okay. One, oh, we got... Fury. That's interesting. Gotta be connected to other water. Still good. Just go over, but oh, if it lacks a connection to ground or other water, it just stops. Okay, interesting. I right. let's keep you there and the board won't do it, maybe? Let's see, you're gonna electrocute or be stunned out of being able to use electricity. That's nice. Okay. Does water get back over? Clearly the Intended option, stop floating, please. Come on, Chompin. Should do a little bit more damage. I, well, alright. Come on. Spin. I, oh, goodness. It's not ideal. But, it does seem like the Chompin deals even better damage than the Moblins I've got, but of course, it's limited to water and the others are not. Come on, I. Oh, goodness. Maybe we boomerang. Boomerang board one this? Sure. Come on. That should take four hits, I think. Three so deals about as much damage as the club one does. A little less. Then. Okay. Got the water back. One, two. Oh, oh goodness. Messed that up. There we are. Two. Oh, it automatically went to there. Okay, so what's in this spot then? Probably some kind of bonus treasure. Uh, dive down, that drops us through. This should be something, right? Whiff that, throw that, break those rocks, and... To break that chest. But, you attack it. I guess we'll just have to use a bomb fish. Okay. Come on, come on. Go ahead. So we spin to set it off, and is this going to be a my crystal, or... That was seemingly nothing at all. Huh. <coughs> we can get back in here later. Can't always come back in 
It's your old segment, so maybe there might be something there later that isn't there right now. I wouldn't bet, but nice. We can go up through there. That's fun. Okay. Oh, goodness. One, two, three, four. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on. That was annoying. That's there, 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 there. Okay. Into another bit of water. Oh, come on. Oh, but actually, what we could do is keep you still and send it all the way over there. Alright. So let's go on. We'll attack again. Thank you. Spin and attack. Oh, goodness. Keep you away. There we are. Cool. Let's spin jump over to the other side. Well, the chomp fin just died. That is kind of sad. It's up top. Clearly get into this segment by placing water blocks, but... Hmm. Jump up here. Anything in here that no or... I... Hmm. I guess this is just multiple ways in the same spot. It's aerial grass. That's fun. Oops. Come on. One. Nope. Like that. Two. Three. Get that rupee. And jump in. Oh, come on. Jump in. I. No, attack the fish. Thank you. And right over there. Over. Take it out. Oh, it can't get it. It's not good at seeing things that are. Uh, okay, cool. Come on. And continue getting some luck, please. That's a death for you. So what's up here? I normally might not be able to access. Or is this supposed to be the way you get here? It's the other possibility. Could have tried to fly in town. Eh, I like the bad bridge. Yep, there is a treasure chest right here. Good. Hi, hello. Come on, notice me. I'm here and I'm ready to get killed. Oh goodness. Can I can't make that jump. Come on. And bridge, bridge. Open that chest. It's inside. This is Hey, yeah, just 50 rupees, alright. That's okay. That oh, tech die, it's great. Not really. I come on. I oh please. Oh actually maybe I could put Chomp in there. And I- Oh! No, no, no. That's actually good damage, I think. Someone spin, spin. You're gonna die eventually. Goodness. One's them, one of them's gone, that's good. Spin. There we go. Shark's so good. I feel like Milani. Okay. Let's sleep in there real quick, and that part's all cleared out, so it must just be over here. Okay. Go over with that. Though it was... Maybe... It's a flying cow situation here. I could see that. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. There we are. And on the tile. Over there. Otter broke. That's alright. And oh, there, there he is. The real world Jabu Jabu. Oh, but actually, there's another chest over here. That is also not exactly the way. Okay. Two. There we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, goodness. Here. Love this for climbing. Not for bridging, really, but for climbing for sure. That's. Oh, just river horses. All right. Mm. Well, that tiny bit is the only thing that isn't shown. Use that. Okay. Back up. On. Oh. Just start from land, right? Need to have it connect at least a little. One, two, three. Okay. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. Look around here. All right. All right. Thank you. That. Oh, because it doesn't have to be on something. Not something below it, just something connected to it anyway. There's the real Jabu Jabu, and... This guy? Oh, the general! Okay. Isn't this one of the people we're looking for? We'll be restored to normal once we take care of this rift. So what is this dungeon, then? 
Some zombie here too. Probably nothing. Let's just use this. Get it fast. Yep, nothing on top. Dungeon is. Oh, I can sense my friends up ahead. I hope there aren't any monsters in here. Well, job ruins. This got more floors, but it seems the individual floors might be smaller. Maybe. But it still shows the entirety of the footprint. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here in the map. What's the trick of this place gonna be? Oh, well, it drops us. Okay, well, there you go. Pitfalls. Oh, okay. Are you all right? Let's think. Fish. Okay. It's a bomb fish in. Still world cave part. I guess you can't just go back up here, King Zelda. Use water, maybe. Eh. Oh, right, because the water block echo liquid in a cube shape, right? If it makes others, you can swim through them. Okay. So I could cut, and this seems notable. Mm -hmm. How much is underwater here, then? That way we can pull that out of the way, keep on swimming, and. Yep, the swimming speed bonus is nice. Couldn't quite get through it, now we can. Got a bit of air. Come up, we it back, drop it back over. Thank you. I'm moving. Okay. Now, we got air. Surprised there haven't been monsters here yet. No, now there are. Oh, and you are a giant lobster? Hey. Huh? You try to chase me, I presume? Maybe. How big are you? Tornado? Oh, yep. So it's advancing wall stuff. Fun. Okay. There you go. Alright. What's in the chomp in there? Fun. Thank you, attack our enemies for us. Oh, well, that just killed it. And that's something I won't be able to get now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that. We can swim around instead of trying to wait and bomb fish that. Okay. I wonder if that's just the boss of the enemy. I can see that. But it appears like ignoring the enemies is a much better idea if it makes sense. Come on. Drop that and get out of the water. Put everyone back that way. We can just wait for that for it to dissipate, right? Maybe? Okay, cool. That's all gone. We can see if there's anything of note there. Oh, there's a rupee. We get that one rupee. Yeah, that broke the crates. Going back to the start, I don't imagine that weird glowing pupster would come back, though. I hope not. That did not tear up the seagrass, though. Hmm. So we go back here. So it appears that the sort of trick of this area is going to be those swirls, and now we probably have to climb back up a good amount of the way. So is that going to be the boss? Maybe a mini boss? Maybe we might at least be able to get a tornado echo? It really is a question of if it is the boss, is the eventual boss fight going to incorporate that mechanic? Is it going to be 2D? Because there was a 2D boss fight in Link's Awakening. The Link's, Link's Awakening, whose remake was the model, the engine for this original game. And it was also one of the underwater. It was also, there were two and one of them was underwater. It was the Evil Eagle and the Anglerfish. The Evil Eagle was really cool. The Anglerfish was kind of stupid. Okay. What is really interesting about the original Link's Awakening is that you can actually beat the seventh dungeon before the eighth, but you have to progress the seventh dungeon a little to get through the eighth. You have to get the shield, because the shield allows you to get into the eighth dungeon, and the magic rod that you get from the eighth dungeon is also really good at taking out the boss of the seventh dungeon. So you can pull up some amusing shenanigans if you care. I did that a few times. Wasn't any special reward or acknowledgement, but it was interesting seeing the, that they programmed in. Well, to be fair, I think it was just a matter of magic rod, just doing really high damage. Which also means that it 
kind of becomes useless. As you get in the final dungeon, after which point there's nothing really to fight. This waypoint has been recorded. On the other side, you can now warp your using the map. What if I went down this way? It just draw me down there, right? I wonder if that will absolutely show up again. That makes me kind of wish they had a new game plus mode or something, just, or at least a boss rush mode, so I could use the later items on earlier bosses just to see. So I think the Link's Awakening remake did add a, a sort of custom dungeon mode. I think that might allow you to refight bosses, but I never played the remake. I played Link's Awakening DX, which was the Game Boy Color remake of the original that added a bonus dungeon on Virtual Console. Oh, we got switches and... Are these mudkips? Look like mudkip. Right, the portal of mudkips is mudkip. So four and then six. I what difference that makes. Can't copy that. What will this do? What's up with the purple? So I guess we need to just cover all the switches. Oh, so probably... Wait. Makes the water rise enough eventually to hold to get over that bridge, maybe? Or geyser that goes up all the way? Hmm. I wonder what that might be and do. A little strange. Switches and geysers so four and then six up top. I wonder if it's some kind of math calculation. I have to make... Press the one that's four and the one that's two, maybe? They sum to six. Mm. More of you. More of these fish. Come on. Guess we should use some of the goal angers then. To get our way through the dark. Oh, come on. Then go coral. You're over there. Come on, Chompin. Do this. Spin. Spin. Right. Okay, thank you. Tangler. Tangler. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's a Bio Deku Baba! Meaning we just pull it and get the head off. Great stuff. Yep, I found some of you in Feron. Wetlands before, you are not new to me. So the map actually also helps me see what's going on without having to open up. Without having to bring the light. If I don't care to. A bit more here. It's a bit light again. We can send a Tangler while we also pull this Bio Baba. Come on. And stun that Bio Deku Baba. And that did a good job of killing it too. Okay. Come on. And I... Oh goodness. Please. But at least they're pretty easy to kill for. The big sharks. It's so fun having a little shark as a summon. Okay, pull that. Rip the head off. There we go. Cool. Pretty brutal. Oh well. Ah, and we got a monster stone from that. Cool. And, oh, the chest is right here. For some reason. It's this. Oh, random silver rupee. 100 rupees. I know there are outfits in this game, so I'm wondering if that's going to be my next rupee sink. I do need a new rupee sink. As of now, there's really nothing for me to even be buying. Come on. Go up here. Should be a bit lighter again. There we are. Good. Good stuff. Thank you. And clearly, we need to light this up so we can put our braziers down. Oh, but one of the braziers is underwater, so. Gotta pull it up with us. Cool. Move them. Okay. Actually puts it on top, which is funny. And it's over now. Cool. Lucky number four. It's two. Will we be able to fall back through now? Maybe have a geyser for easy access after this? So this should sound it too. But I wonder what that'll mean in practice. Okay. It, I think it's more likely you just have to activate all of them. Pull up the pool, get a geyser with the hicks all the way up top. But couldn't I just climb up there? So that is making it go higher. Hmm. Well, I would still need the key. 
I don't think there's much of a point to doing it that way. Okay, that hole goes down over here to the start, so I would imagine we don't need to do any reactivation switches. Those two and four seem to make much of a difference, so I'd imagine that activating the next one would allow me to get up to the next level. That would make sense. Don't know if we'll actually be going back down at all. Hmm. Three might just be the boss chamber, but this room is on floors one, two, and three. Really, that's going to be the drop down when after we activate that switch. Okay. Go ahead. You're going to detonate that, aren't you? Yeah. All right. No more. No more planks. Sad. So we'll just need to use it. Bed to go up over that. Or we could just use water. Eh. Okay, come on. Let's boomerang you. Come on. And that even hit multiple times. It did not. That did. So I guess it's got a bit of a cooldown, maybe. Come on. You see me? Well, whatever. Come on, Chompin. And we get this chest with this before the plank gets destroyed, and here's our map! Nice! We got a dungeon map, now you can see the dungeon land in this area of the still world. And it... Yeah, down here is really just the way back after we fell through. That's kind of a gimmick. It's it's not that big. I think that the Drudel is actually a bit bigger. By the way, I think the bomb should be... Also, that's right, the bow actually would have been good against Mogriff too. Didn't even think about that. The bomb is also... The bow was technically a dungeon item last time. Flying mole. Ended up using the boomerang horribly to deal damage at while it was in the air. Then, of course, you could trigger its weakness by just crashing it into a statue. I stun it for longer, but... In that case, I wonder how, if at all... Maybe boss here would be going to weak the bombs, maybe. What would that what that would even do? But some blue rupees. I wonder if we could maybe drop bigger rupees eventually. Yeah. Not really a huge problem. I wonder when that tornado thing is gonna come back to. Because if that's the boss, I wonder how I'd use bombs against it. Oh, here's a chomp thing. Hello. I, oh, not like that. Come on, come on. I Let's get over there and... No, not you, not you, I... Want to... Talk to Rock, come on. Thanks, we pull you in. Send the shark out. Thank you. Come on, come on. Do shark things, shark. Butter shark. Spin camp block. Sort of parry... The rocks that get shot at us, which is nice. Oh, goodness. Stronger than other bike. Doing good damage, but they're also durable themselves. There we go. And, well, that's blue. Come on. Um, okay. Also, did test when I used ice on my module a bit. Freezing something midair does not make it immediately drop down and shatter, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, shatter reaction. So, blowing this up. Bombfish should do something for me. Come on. Spin that. Another shark. We'll wait. Then there and well, you didn't even get hit. Oh, and then pull the Octo Rock in the water. Okay. Mm, all these crates. Destroying them is likely not a good idea. Well. Come on. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Got like that. Keep hitting. Oh, you're chasing after me. I don't like that. So, just like that. Send it out. That collision successfully. Score us a kill. That's bomb fish it. Oh, we just stayed underwater the whole time. I think we have that scale. There you are. Let's kill everything. Always got it. Apple from the crate. A soggy apple. Probably not the pleasant. Let's see what's in here then. Tight rope, it seems. Hmm, other side. Come on. Water block should help. Okay, nice. Oh, and this is how we get to this chest. 
a bit from the side, and okay, just a cripple rupee. Fair enough. Come on. Oh, a random monster stone for the pot. I didn't even think that'd be possible. Possible, and okay, we can get that. Good. Well, Borbwen, thank you. Oh, come on. Goodness me. Can I pull you up into a spot I can hit you? Yeah, that works. There we are. My rupee's gone now, though. Try that again, because I want that. Figure out a way to pull it over to us next time. Okay. There we go. And, well, water could get me up there. Okay. Tight ropes here and... That's actually just a normal sort of placement. This seems to be a... It's a boomerang, this then. Place where a chest could maybe be? It's interesting. I... Hmm. Maybe I use the firework again. Yeah. Alright. Been a while since I used this. Come on. Blow up. Blow up. There we go. Nice. And that does not seem to indicate anything at the moment, which is strange. Okay, water block. Let's go back in here. Good high jump, even out of the water. Right. You don't have any special animation for that. You just got to be real careful. Two, three. Cool. And straight down. Then nothing there. Left. Okay, cool. Should take us up to another switch, I hope. Maybe. Oh, crabs. I'm in the crab room. All right, well, that's not really all that much of a problem. Okay. Kill the ones on land and then let... Oh, goodness, you hit me. Oh, the shield's annoying. There we go, at least. And then the shark. The issue is just the automatic shield trigger. Shark should do it. Okay. Another one. Come on. Cool. Yeah. Nothing much, but... Check out the other rooms. This is very standard. I really like that desert temple. This one is a lot more standard, but... It's still fun. Let's go in. Get those two and a half hearts back. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. And... And... Yep, another switch. The Nintendo Switch, so that's also a two, so I guess it... So I guess two plus two equals the four over there? Maybe. <laughs> so I guess if I kind of sequence broke to get up top, or it said three, maybe it wouldn't make the geyser correctly, because now it goes up there. So the final two should let me get to the boss chamber. But of course I could just climb conventionally using a crawl or something, but it wouldn't open the boss door. I wouldn't be getting the boss key. Okay. Here we are. Do not try blowing me up, please. Here we are. And we can keep going. Geyser, geyser. All the way up. Let's just see. Oh, but it seems there's a whip. Ah, okay. So the spider would... No, we can go up here. It's just there's nothing to do here yet. Because we don't have that key. Okay. That is a 2D segment. Mm -hmm. Oh, then. It's a wall. Can't get past that. And it's sort of a river rapid section. Can't swim against the current all too well. Slowly advance. Kind of. Mm -hmm. We have... Funny little Octorox. Oh, well. Go ahead. Can't spin. Whatever. Come on, come on. I, oh, no. I really want to just kill all the Octoroks for no real reason. But, oh, there was a waterfall. Well, goodbye. That's one way to hit it. One way to bite it. Okay. Will you in here, maybe? Well, that just barely can't grab you. Okay, and over there. Water. Shark. Come on, come on. And just a green rupee for 
Posterity, I suppose. Those would kind of block me, I guess. This is kind of like Frogger, I suppose. Oh, come on. Oh, and a Tektide is here for some reason. Come on. I oh, no. Come on. Spin. And spin. We can get up there. Let's actually just let... Oh, no. You're all the way over here. You're club warbling. Keep smacking. Smacking. Another smack should do it. Yep, there we go. Proper number of snacks. And switch in here. Hmm, what are all? Hit those all. Maybe boomerang guys could do it. That sounds accurate, I suppose. Just like their boomerangs. Accurate. Okay. Got one. I think there's going to be a time crunch, so to speak, that they'll automatically need to reactivate or something. Go ahead, we got another. Oh, so I bet it's just a water block situation. Oh, there's one underwater. Huh. Oh, but current's a little strange. Can I? Okay, so the towel just water is not a good option. It does not allow you to keep that going. Okay, and oh, well, alright. You have to jump at the top. Okay, jump. Someone down to just hit that. Cool. Hit it. Oh, but you're on top. That isn't exactly working, huh? There we go. Okay, so let's just trip all the switches and... Jump in, hopefully. How well can you swim underwater? You don't seem all that impacted by the flow of the current, which is nice. Slowly taking damage, though. I wonder if that will kill you. Not kill you. Nice. I need to hit that. Let's get the final event. It's over there. Any over here? No, none over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Up top. And water block, water. Right, can't do that there. We can do it from land if we feel like it. That's one, two, and. Okay. I guess this is just bomb fish moment. Cool. Oh, goodness. That's. Oh, I. Come on, I. Blow that, blow that. Okay, we got one. Let's keep blowing these up. Keep that close. Keep that pull. We could always just use the zero. Eh. One more. Hopefully, we can even use the bomb to trigger the final switch if we so feel. Oh, but a spin triggers those too. Okay, I actually didn't know that. It's enough of an attack then. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Keep on. Pulling so we can blow the crate up for no good reason. I just felt like it. Thank you. I. Oh, goodness. What, what, what? Nice. Now we're here. Thank you. Mm. Now the room. Oh, Tektai room. Great. But not all of them have even seen me, which is good. We can take them out one by one and avoid aggroing them. Well, that's nice. Now you've seen me. Hit. 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 Okay, one more Tektai. And we'll pull you over this way. Drop you again. Okay. Get this hits going. One more Tektai after this. Okay. Nice. Get down here. Grab that. It... The grabs are so good. It is what makes this... Honestly, part of what makes this feel like a wizard game. It's not just summoning. It's using a bit of magic to do crowd control to make it easier for the actual fighters. That's how you play spell catchers in games. Rad control. Activate this. Geyser should go up a little higher, but I wonder where that boss key is going to be. Uh, okay. Geyser a little. A little higher. Of course, we can always climb to the top there, but that's not... Doesn't mean anything until I have the boss key anyway. It's a matter of getting all these until it hopefully reveals the boss key somehow. Okay. Let's rest on the soft bed. Now we can use this to get over. A little jump it makes you do is fun. Okay. It does seem like you recover your first heart faster when you initially rest in the bed. 
Hmm. I wonder where that would drop me, though. Or if the final four getting to it somehow would be where I'll get that key. I could see that. Maybe. Rocks. Oh, so they automatically float. So that's there, but I can't learn that plank is an echo, sadly. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go over it. Is the rock blocking that somehow? I... Mm -hmm. The plank is somehow blocking that. But eventually they'll float, and that's removed. Matter taking the rock away to allow them to float properly, and there we are. So that unblocks it, but of course you can also just use bomb fish if you are so inclined. Okay, that'll give me an air. Instance. Oh, that's just how you fall back down through, I think. Okay. Thank you. We're over there. Come on, Chumpin. Thank you. And an air back. So the next spot is going to be air. Come on, go out, kill. Thank you. Help that I don't particularly need. All right. Bombs. Fish. Bomb fish. This goes up there, but there are chests here. I wonder if that would be the boss. Probably not. I'll have to check, though. Cool. Oh, and it dropped multiple pieces of kelp. All right. So let's go down here just to see what's there. Jump in. You can do this. Well, maybe not. Why are you going down? Stuck on terrain? Thanks. I think you might be able to get... On an easier mode, you might be able to actually kill the bombfish. It's possible, given that... On, easier, on the normal mode... Enemy HP is also lower. Oh, come on. Thank you. That'll go up that way. Bombfish, of course. Come on. Let's see what's down here. Broke that and So this is where the boss key is. So we can actually skip that final switch if we really felt like it. I don't feel like it. There we are. We got the big key. Now we can open the big door. In. So in 2D Zeldas, it's the big key. In 3D Zeldas, it's the boss key. That distinction has re remained relatively consistent, even if it isn't necessarily all that consequential in the long run. But it might be because the big key isn't always just the key to the boss room. It might be a little bit after that. Let's get that then. Ah, go Meg. Just one though. Still, we can make more smoothies now, I suppose. Check out more recipe options. And then, of course, maybe if I cared enough, I could use that as a rupee seeing, just making high quality, expensive smoothies. It's an idea. Up through here. And, oh, lots of shadowy fish. Okay. Let's set our shark at you. I'll spin around, and of course... Oh, and there's a trapdoor on the floor. That's fun. Come on. We go for the one that isn't actively electric -y. Come on. Luckily, they don't seem to be too tough to take out. Come on. Come on. But you... That's dead. This one seems to maybe be a little less durable, but on the way... Still, the enemies are gone. Oh, the big door probably is Link behind it. Ah, okay. Yep. Bone fish. So many of these. Time to scroll up. Bunch at once. Yep. Come on. It is interesting that the okay, piranha sand piranha. Right, they're all the aquatic ones are in the same sort of category, but. How did that not pull up? Huh. And was it close enough to the crate, maybe? Maybe. Okay, there we go. And the grapes went all the way to the bottom of the ocean. 
Honestly, you'd think they maybe they'd float. And here we are. And this one is underwater. Oh, are these? Okay, yeah, they're Baba Deku Baba. There we are. I think the pulling might have looked better if we could actually get a bit more away distance wise. Probably. Come on. Dropping that does not destroy it. Oh, but opening that trap door. Trap door will probably drain that water into the main room. Uh, maybe. No, it's just going to drain water into the chamber, which is why it drops me into the water chamber instead. And I guess my question is, would I be unable to depress the switch, given that it's underwater? Would I still be able to apply enough pressure? Aha, uh -huh, you can't. Maybe then a rock or something else that would sink. Yep. Some that definitively sinks will work. And that will take me all the way there to the big key. Full geyser. All the way up. I think Wink should be behind there. Thank you, air cannon. Here we are. We can just bombfish this. Or we can slide that plank out, but detonations are from. Okay. I can slide that, which we were just not able to do before. No skips allowed. At least not here. Go to that big door. Open the big door. Okay. Mm. Here we are. Giant geyser. Said that's also not permanently there, right? Or I guess it's permanently there. Pool is about as deep as it's going to get, and it's Let's see. Hello there. Big door and... Oh, another drop down? Wait. Where is this going to send me? Third floor and... Second floor, first floor... Where is this sending me? Huh? Now I'm confused and frightened. It's got to be like the angler fish then, right? Okay, so yep, it's the fish from before. Bet we're gonna have to do some bomb trickery. You are. Seems that light might be important here. This is Voco Void. Voice. Voice and eat. Mm -hmm. That back a bit seems to be its vulnerability. I oh okay. How to try to get behind it? Oh, we can destroy these back bits and make you more vulnerable. Okay, that's cool. And you'll replenish. Ooh, that spins you a lot of damage. So the weak point is the back here. Wander. Come on. I oh, goodness. Ooh, missiles. I don't like that. Hmm. wonder if I can lure them or the missiles into it. Probably not. I'm gonna spin around or... Oh, goodness. Bet if I manage to make okay, that stuff you. If I manage to make its tail missiles hit it somehow, I bet that would be good. Oh, come on. Oh! Phase transition, now there's less water in the arena. It can still fly. Oh, huh, well, that complicates things a bit. Oh, you're like a bow! Actually, kind of like a trireme. Well, that's cool. Keeps going. Wonder if. Oh, come on. Okay. This tail misses an. Oh, there's a big tornado. Wonder if a bomb fish might be able to do something about it. Well, whatever. Come on. Hit it, hit it. What? What? No. I. That's not working. Firework, firework. Fire. Firework, firework. Firework. I... What? What? Come on. Oh, good lord, that was stupid. It didn't even get rid of the other one. That was dumb. Okay. What are you up to now? Clearly, jump in hitting your weird back bubble should be an okay way to do this. We're super there now. Oh, come on. What if I just dropped a bombfish on you? 
No, that goes through somehow. Oh. Get around the other way if at all possible. I Come on, I right. bombfish. Big one. Oh, that doesn't quite do it. It should be make position. Okay, and now you're on the ground. I okay, come on. Uh, here we go. Smack. I oh, come on. Can't get over there at all. That is really, really obnoxious. Come on. Uh, hmm. We're kind of making it work. Kind of. So we can get you back underwater, hopefully. Triumph's coming. Triumph stuff is coming. I, please. I, something needs to be fast underwater. There's nothing that's actually fast underwater. This is the thing. Get around your tornadoes, then. That's annoying. I, okay. Can we... Out of the way, or not really? Okay. Big tornado. Okay. And now, somebody gets on top. That legitimately. That's kind of screwy. Could I even? Maybe a Moa? Moa? Sure. One. Oh, but it's taking multiple hits. That's also annoying. One and. Okay, so the MOA actually might be the best way to kind of chase it down. Come on, I... Please, please, I, oh, please. Just shoot it, shoot it. Oh, that couldn't connect and down. This? Actually rather tough in that sword fighter form. Which makes sense, you're definitely supposed to engage with it using sword fighter form, but... And, oh, there was actually, there, there was more. Okay, and the chomping is just really good at hitting multiple at once. That makes sense. Okay. But in air, that doesn't exactly work as intended. And can I down over that wing? They send the quad borblin. Okay, cool. And that ends the fight. Bombs didn't really seem to be a significant weakness. It was just a fight about maneuvering and positioning purely. That I don't hate that. Which I guess makes sense, considering the gimmick of a, the dungeon was really just the water levels and that geyser. Huh. Let's see what we get. But I suppose, you know, hitting the back, especially since you walk up to its pustules, other than any part of the body, is a bit obvious. You know, given that vor, voca vor, sort of voice eat in the name, you would think maybe be able to feed it something, but I guess not. Let's see if we get the final stamp from this. And I don't exactly see a stamp stamp here. Can check and oh, Jobby Jobby's back. Little cocoon. Thank you. Give me more power. Restored. Right, it's in the 2D segment. That was a fun fight. My friend shared some of their power with me. Level 4, baby. And that's... Any farther? No, still not level 5 yet. I feel like I can do even more now. And that... Discount? Tries power is increased. Now some echoes will use fewer triangles, which is not the same as... Not the same as being able to cast things with a higher triangle count. But we would be able to allow some things to swarm a bit better. Doesn't even make digging more efficient, but we could put down two gapos. Two dark nuts at once is an interesting idea. That could be fun. Maybe the gibdos too, if I could actually freeze enemies. Just four minor spear moblins. Okay, well, all right. Keeping that out of reach. Five my crystals from Try. Don't have bombs yet. I, it's an item yet. I heard something from my friends while mending the rift. They told me that this was the largest rift they've ever mended. None of us realized that rifts could get big like this if we're unable to do our job. It's hard to say what would have happened if you hadn't defeated that monster, Zelda. Okay. There's not really anything else to do in the store world for now, so let's go back to your world, Zelda. Safe trust friends and took care of the rift in Jabba Waters. You should now go back to your world. Twelve hearts! 
Got a heart container. Maximum number of hearts is increasing. They've been filled. Nice. Only eight more hearts. And there's our way back. That's a cave indicator on that map. Okay. You want to return to your world now? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. So I wonder where that final stamp is going to be. It might just be something will change with Hebra and reveal the stamp there. I could see that. And now look, oh, Zelda's back. Zelda, you're amazing, you got rid of all the rifts. Mm -hmm. What about where Jabu Jabu? That big fish was in the still world with the rift gone, I'm sure he's fully back to normal. Aww. Oh, really? At long last. Thank you, Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, Drow and I are more alike than not. For close in age, we care for our villages, yet we squabble. Maybe we're too far too similar, so we argue over the littlest details. We've done this for ages. Mm. Yeah, but now we know that River Zora and Sea Zora can get more done together. Or, huh, maybe what we really learned is that we got too hot during this squabble. <laughs> you two are good friends, usually. Huh? Well, we are not. Hey, shut your gills at Nava. And, here we go. Time to rebuild. Uh -huh, in any case. Mm. Allow us to express our gratitude. Zelda, we owe you a great deal. Hmm. Oh, more shaking. More riffs, maybe? Ooh. Chief Ashar, Chief Dread, no, just Jabu Jabu, or Jabu Jabu is returned to Crossroads Plaza. Mm. Uh-huh, yeah. let's go with Zelda. <laughs> right, it's time we celebrate, that's the least we can do to thank you. So we're all going there now. Check. Got replaced, at least. Oh, and we took the hood off. Fun. Excuse me. Oh, now they're playing again. Cute. Should make Jabu Jabu nice and happy. Ah, oh, they got their flutes and drums. So the rivers were our horns and drums. Seas are our flute and harp. Makes sense with their dichotomy. There you go. The fish is dancing. Hmm. All right. Oh, uh -huh. anything? What else? Oh, Did you spin anything else up, or can you talk? Nah. Come on. Yeah, two dark nuts could be an interesting option. Hmm. So what now? It's nice to hear the Zora play their music. I could have listened to that all day, and what a perfect way for the Chiefs to make up after all of this. Right, Zelda? Or am I? Huh? Wait. Oh, right, the general, huh? General Wright, you there? I need direction. Sorry, not my best manners. My name is Wright. General for the Kingdom of Hyrule, I found myself out at sea after regaining my senses and heard the music coming from here. Mm -hmm. Do you know the way to Hyrule Castle? Well, it's me, Zelda. Mm -hmm. You, you look all alike. <laughs> no, it can't be. Yep. Yeah. Hoda actually disguises you. It's your princess, and I've never guessed I'd meet you here of all places. Just imagine you're in Java waters. Now, what in the world has been going on? <clears throat> what? I can't believe all that happened while I was gone. So Minister Left is at this very person's home right now. My first order of business is speaking with Minister Left immediately. Whoa. 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 Oh, well then, where does that leave us? We took care of the Rift, but didn't find your father, Zelda. Maybe it's a good idea for us to head to Wuburi's house, too. That's complete. Where Jabu Jabu returned after you took care of the larger Rift in Jabu Waters, the Zora Chiefs are also getting long again to perform for you to show their thanks. Still missing, the King of Hyrule and Link are still missing, even after mending the larger rifts. Turn to Wuburi's house and share everything that has happened. Hey, yeah, the King and others who are missing might be inside other rifts. Right, is my relocation to large rifts in the Rudo Desert and Java Waters. Well, not really a problem anymore there. Didn't say that we completed it. Hmm. I've been here with this River Zora fellow since the moment when things got really bad. Never talked to a Sea Zora this much before. Same here, what a memory you and I was 
I will always share with this strange time. Now, always never mind me, Sniff, just a bit of sand in my eye, that's all. Oh. After staying put here so long, I've really gotten to know the Caesar guy. Oh. Our friendship began when we were scared for a village and calmed each other. Oh. Come on, that's embarrassing. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hello? Hmm. Well, Jabu Jabu has calmed down, but the bridge here is still wrecked. Maybe it'd be interesting if we just leave the bridge the way it is. Okay. The den is here. Can check what I might be able to access. Now that that's opened up. Hmm. Really? That final stab isn't here. I wonder where it could be. Well, there's a piece of heart just sitting. That's fun. So bed and then climb it. And one more gives us another heart container, so that's 13. It's right there. Fun. Are we? Strength is good. It's nice to be strong. Got four pieces of heart. Your maximum number of hearts increased, and they've been filled. And there we go. Cool. Mm. So I'd imagine that eight more pieces of heart in the game, and then one. The rest would be from dungeons, the remaining five from dungeons. I'm presuming that it doesn't change things up on me and actually be available. Actually, I have 30 oh. or something. Got to finish up cleaning up this mess. Can't leave it for the Caesar to do. I've been trusted with this job, so I'm going to do my best. All of us who are hard workers. Cute. And, oh, here he is. Hi. Talk. He seems happy and content. Let's pass here. And the answer is nothing, it seems. Oh. Okay. What would happen if I re-entered that boss room? Also, I want to see if Jabu Jabu is still in the sewer. Store world. Do you want to visit the store world again? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Let's check that real quick. Also, see what everyone in the villages have to say. What everyone in the villages has to say. And it... Put over there. Trouble waters. We go inside. Oh, that takes you to the inside view. Just... Warp over there, step outside, and see if Jabu Jabu is still outside that way. And. Oh, it's been replaced with some bits of water. Well, that's fun. Since it, since it was still relatively important for a traversal there, they gave it an analog. Huh. Of course, to get there, we need to go back to. Geyser room. Okay. I wanna see. Don't think boss rematches are available. That would be cool though. I do wonder if we've got any more quests in the villages now. Okay, that goes up. Thanks. Probably nothing. And yeah. Nothing. Oh, and just drops you down. Land there. It's a good thing that Zelda does not take fall damage. Okay, let's go over to Seaside Village again. Uh, does anyone have any new quests for us to do? And those people are not saying anything now. And oh, you must have gone out to sea. Ah. Zora are great, great swimmers, so I got one to teach you how to swim better. Now maybe I'll be part Zora. Hi. I visited Seaside Village to shop, and this little Halloween asked me to be her swimming coach. Oh. Coach, you know what? I want to swim faster. Mm. Yes, of course, it'll take time, and you'll need to build up your strength. But do remember to eat well, play well, and sleep well. Hmm. Hello. Yeah. It's a relief to see more Jabu Jabu calm down. I can finally reach out to my daughter again. Maybe I'll send her a gift. She moved to be with her husband in Castletown some time ago. And have you ever had one of those smoothies at the business group sell? Called Sales Intuition, but I bet those are going to be very trendy someday. Someday. Hmm. And in terms of ingredients. The kid is here. Hi. And that's just the same dialogue about the cave. Okay. What do you have to say? 
The sea is calm at last, so I can sail out there again. Oh, the sea is an exciting place. I'd better get out there and fix up my poor stranded ship. Oh, it's, that's probably his ship then. If I went over there now. Anything to say? No, nothing new. Okay, so he just moved it over to that dock. All right. The Jabba Jot would settle down. That huge rift here near here is gone too. Now if only my erp would go away, then my whole world would be erp. That doesn't clarify much. Hello. Now that we're Jabba Jot will settle down, I can get out in the water again. Can't wait to head to see my boat. Nothing more relaxing. Let's check out where all the Zora are. Oh, that's... Diveable. What is this going to be then? It doesn't seem like anything. Okay. Spirit Bodhi. Okay. I want to see then what might be out by that ship. I mentioned a stranded ship. Can I get up here? Well, it. There's nothing really there, is there? No, not really. Guess it's just a war tidbit, so to speak. Hmm. I want to see where those. Rips were. Just to check. Rips were in. Water. Cove. Mark the rifts. One over by that cave. Nothing meaningful was, was meaningfully occluded by it. Nothing meaningful was occluded by it. By, by the Zora Cove marker. Okay. Again, nothing really over it. Well, maybe those sea urchins. Don't entirely remember seeing them before. Thank you. Nice. And grab that. Look into more. Zora. Hmm. What over by Zora Cove? Okay. What do the others have to say? If anything, what over and around here? before, but it doesn't seem like that's the case anymore. No more of that Zora. I think that's one that might have moved to the village. Over there. Any new quests? My ancestor made that large sculpture that's shaped like a fishtail. I'd like to be able to sculpt something as great someday. That's cute. We're out here. So what kind of creature was that imposter or Jabu Jabu? Was it trying to bring cats to Jabu Waters? But why do that? Well, Zilba antagonists generally aren't particularly sophisticated. Oh, a quest! Monster around the sea, the people at Seaside Village. Hmm. The real difficulty is finding just the right thing to put my treasure in. What kind of pot? Showing pots? Oh, you heard all that, didn't you? I'm trying to work out a solution for something. I may as well fill you in. I want to store my treasure safely and securely. It's just a collection of shells and rocks I find well swimming, but it's treasure to me. I'm quite proud of my collection, but I don't have room for it all, so I need to find something I can store it in. Said I've had no luck just so far. It has to be just right for my story needs and find something. But fantastic, here's what I need. It's not much, but it is specific. I have to be able to store my collection securely inside of it. It's even underwater. I don't want the contents to just spill out. Don't want the other Zora to know about my treasure still right outside for you. Hmm. One of the sea Zora asks you to find him something to put his treasure in. He doesn't want his treasure to spill out, especially when underwater. Hmm. Could be a fish. Underwater. Where is he? Over there. What can we echo? Aye. If you find something I can use to store my treasure in, please stow it, sh stow it, show it to me. I need it to be secure. Especially to keep my treasure from spilling out under water. Let's look at my notebook. It's an object I might be able to use. Underwater. Nice. Maybe a crate. That maybe? You brought me something. And I fear that I'm being fussy, but it doesn't feel special enough for my treasure. Maybe then just another kind of pot? Trudeau pot. You brought me something? This isn't a bad option, but I fear that without a lid, it wouldn't be useful underwater. A lid. The water is this. That's not something he pays attention to, then. Hmm. I... Might not be able to do this right now. A pot with a lid. Oh. A pot with a lid. I guess we'll just have to pen this one. That's rather frustrating. Hmm. 
It's interesting. What about... What that do? No. You don't even pay attention to that. It's about what's special enough and could work underwater. Not that. No. Nope. Hyrule Castle Plot? And you brought me something. It's a beautiful container, but I worry that without a lid, it wouldn't work underwater. Rock. No. Aww. So I guess we'll just have to find a new kind of pot. Somewhere. Maybe inside a Hyrule Castle. Maybe. Welcome, anything I can help you with? Our bubble kelp is a seaweed that we harvest fresh in Zora Cove. I heard there are people out in the world who don't like seaweed, but it's so delicious. I like it. Subjective, though. I used to think that having an argument was all bad, but maybe squalling or something like that will have to figure out stuff and weird. I know I got trapped in a cave, but I really want to be an adventurer someday. Big blunders make you a better explorer, and guess who told me that? An adventurer. But not Wink, because Link can't talk. Or maybe that was before he got trapped? No, he only fought after he got trapped, right? I will strive for musical mastery by playing and composing every day. It's hard work to keep at it for such a long time, but also fun with the right frame of mind. Alright. Hey, you know what? I heard that Drat is great at playing music. Who's better, him or Chief Kishara? I wanna know, I gotta know. Yep. Oh, a good while back, a Hylian in a green tunic visited our village. She defeated some monsters that were trolling us. Chief Kishara was very grateful. Yep. Thank you for rescuing my son, Zelda. Her son is named Zelda. I thank Chief Drat, but he said he just did what anyone would do. So I must find a way to repay both of you. Do you like that you can slightly change direction while mid jump and spin jump? Behold, Chief Kishar is a shining example of bravery and excellence. I can barely look at her, she's so bright. Squabbling chiefs that were drift and were jabu jabu on a rampage. Zelda, I can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I'm tried just thinking about it. Please let me thank you again, Zelda. Hi. You know what it looks like, but the truth is that I've always tried to have good relations with Drad. I seem to find myself off kilter when I'm actually around him. I'm worried that with much sword. It's always good to keep in mind, I suppose. Check off east to see if any Zora are still around there. Hmm. Of course the Jabu Jabu is dead. Hmm. Rather curious. Anyone here? Probably not. We can use that slope to get it more easily, though, which is nice. Yep, nobody isn't here anymore at all. Let's go over the village again. Let's see what they all have to say, if we have any new quests, maybe. Hmm. Health and God that scale, but let's see what else happens. Hello. Yeah. Welcome to the River Zora village. There's stuff broken all over the place, but this calm has come back to our home. As I love music, I'll be a great musician someday, too. Then I'll be able to play music with Kishara. I've got to do my best. Got this nice mutual admiration now. Cute. Yep. Oh well. Oh. Welcome, how can I help you? Ah. Dread and I go way back. We were right next to each other growing oh. up. He and Kishara, the Caesar, became chiefs around the same time. Those two like two guppies yep. in a pond. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. That big rift's been fixed, where Jabu Jabu has returned to us, nothing but happy news. That we can fit really feast, time to celebrate. Hmm. Check the other options. Bo. Zora. Or Jabu Jabu, I mean, the imposter wrecked my house, but no one's fixed it yet. I hope the others remember to do repairs here, too. I haven't paid off my house yet. Oh, she splashed, this water's cold. Pretty cool, too. Yeah, okay. Alright. And here is. I wonder when, if we might be able to fix that eventually. My son has never liked water, we seen that before, okay. Let's check outside and around. I think I actually maybe want to go and see. Either way, the rifts are mostly clear. We just got this little one all around the castle, I think. Yeah. Boss Red made it with a Caesar or Chief, huh? I want to be friends with a Caesar. And you're over here. Thanks for getting me out of that rift. It was terrible being in there. The worst thing I've ever, I've ever been through. During Kishara put her music, that almost made up for it. Talk to you guys. Friends. Yeah. Inawa, hi there, Zelda. Nice and comfy here in a rivers or a village. Make yourself at home. We're also happy to have you here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm glad that Boss Rat is safe and everyone else too. But gotta say, I wish I'd done more this whole time than just watching Boss's stuff. Ooh. Kishara and I always get in big arguments over nothing, but I hope we can put that behind us. You know, this time with your help, Zelda, it shouldn't have to come to that, though. 
Okay. Check around the den. Shouldn't be too huge of a problem. Mm. So, you're still over here. This is all broken up still. Oh well. I heard that a rift really roughed up this little area here. Glad it's back to normal though. It's my all time favorite place to take a nap. Nothing all that special. Okay. For all the spots. This. More or less in that direction. Hmm. Or to this over here, because it was basically inaccessible before. Let's. Water block would be a great way to climb up here then. Okay. And. On top of that. And. What else? This was around here then. A couple of the rocks. Pick that up. Oh, there's a chest. Hmm. What if I break these? Not much. Let's rock again. Come on, come on. I'll take you out. Come on, come on. Hit, hit, and hit. Good, we got that. And hit, hit, and another hit. Nice. What is our reward here going to be? You really do wonder what that final stamp is going to be if not here. Come on, we'll pull you in. And hit. Hit. Nice. Couple more of the Spear Moblins. Cool. Smack. Smack. Okay. Okay, so only the Moblins counter that chest. The insects do not influence how this works. Okay, well, alright. Get back up here. The rocks do not do anything of note. What's in here? It's... Oh, a gold egg. Nice. Cool. Hmm. Does seem like there isn't really much over here though. Let's just make sure I don't miss anything. A couple of rifts up that way by that cave, but of course they're gone now. Hmm. Oh my goodness, goodness me. That way is. That is a block. Oh. Getting over there would not do much for me, if anything. Hmm. Make sure we get the right places. It's huh. over and around. That doesn't look like anything. Yeah, fair. Let's keep on looking. Chop this grass, I guess. Oh, another random chance just sitting here. That's cool. Again, it. Either I totally miss a stamp somewhere. There's something that just isn't on the map yet. Okay, three my crystals. Cool. Around here was, yeah, previously inaccessible, more or less. And no, no, no. Huh. Hi. Hmm. Not all that much then. Keep. Spinning through this area, we already did stuff with that acorn guy. Rift here wasn't blocking anything then, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Let's make sure I don't miss anything. Yeah. Hmm. A treasure chest with not much of anything in it. And. Got that, didn't I? Must have, right? Oh, but that waterfall is turning too much for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... <sighs> Come on. Down over that way. Down around here. That... Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much of anything. Then we've already been through this cave. Fix that rift. Mm -hmm. It's got to be something then. Maybe it was up here? I don't know. I feel like more stuff is going to show up on the map here eventually. That might be the spot. Maybe. Maybe. Much to think about. Either way, just the lack of... The final stamp. Because if we're missing all but one, I'm inclined to believe that... It's some kind of special location. I just cannot access it all yet. It would be suitable for a final one. But... Let's 
check the locations of the last, last couple of rifts and then can do the last couple of acorn catching minigames. I think with a water block I should be able to get a good clear time. We'll see. Oh, let's go on top of the tree. Very, very convenient for climbing. That's down in the other corner. This corner down here. Again, shouldn't really be anything, if anything, but I always want to check. And, yep, nothing. Nothing at all. So, in that case, we will. Nothing was there, right? Yeah. There, also nothing. There's nothing here. Which is really weird. I maybe I'll check there one more time. There might have been a fairy. Maybe even check the summit again. Or a couple more smoothies I'd like to try making now that I've got a couple of golden eggs picked up. So climb up this with the water. Thank you. Thank you. I, right, because there's a space in between that and the waterfall. Okay. So, well, that's blocking it now. Okay, this should hopefully work. Top and let me make that jump. Go over here. And that will do it. Check out this spot then. But yeah, it does not seem like anything really comes here. Stamp. Fairies here, but that's it. Mm. Make sure, but it appears like it was kind of a pointless location. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Mm. We'll check that summit one more time just to make sure there's nothing there to grab. It's gotta be a rift here eventually, but in the meantime, maybe it was under this snow pile that I marked. That could make sense. It would also be a nice way to mandate some level of story progress to finish the stamp quest. I could see that being the case. So, let us. Talk to the business grub another time. What kind of smoothies do we have? Got a couple more spots. Okay. Hello. And smoothie, please. And everything's got its options here, mostly. It's just golden eggs that do not have everything filled out. Mm -hmm. Could try going some snowmen for a couple more pumpkins if I really felt like it. But I really don't. Mm -mm. Milk and the egg. Another way to make a golden smoothie. Most of these are ways to make golden smoothies. And potato and golden. Golden climbing smoothie. Got it. So this and that are still up. Okay. And that's golden climbing smoothie. Which flavors and an umami kick make this a satisfying smoothie? smoothie that's almost a meal. I don't need this. I really don't. Get rid of that. Okay. Then. That just. The salt just makes a golden smoothie, too. Golden glowing smoothie. Golden twisty. Golden tough. Let's actually try making that with guts. That it's gonna be unfortunate as well, but let's just check. And we only need three more golden eggs to complete our recipe book. Smoothie and it's crap. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Let's do those couple more climbing challenges real quick to see what I can do. One was over by Kakariko. Also, are there any more of those dream challenges to do? Still need to figure out. What kind of container? Container with a lid. I imagine it'd be a barrel. We don't have an echo like that yet. Mm. Hello, Jojo. 
Let's see. Can't get the sword yet. Good to see you, Green Disciple. Looks like you've had a few more experiences. This is my estimate. That means new training. Slumber's Path is the one before you. Care to do some training? Aim for higher points of unconsciousness. So long, here's a menu. Dream options. We, oh, we got a lot more. Defeat the enemies without being swept away by the current. Okay, cool. Training begins now. Close your eyes. I bet a lot of these would be sort of dropping in the water. Your energy float within, huh? For this training, you'll have to rely on your skills alone. You won't be able to use drinks or items that restore your hearts. Your gold hounds. One minute, 30 seconds. Begin. I bet that pulling you off your string would... No. Okay. Let's make another. All right. Come on. Pull that Deku Baba. Okay. And can I get into a spot where I can pull you down? Oh, this is just part of the temple. Right? Okay. And can we pull... pull? And there we are, even if that might mean organize as well. Very generous Tomlin, I'd appreciate that. Moa should be a good option here. Kill that guy. Doesn't have to worry about the water. Oh, well, can't do much in water. Just had to snap that string. Okay, and go ahead, shoot, and how many more are there in here? Another Kraltoa and another Urchin. Okay. Go ahead, get knocked off, come on. Ooh, huh. Please. Aw. Hitting the right side, it seems. Well, we can just break the string then. Alright. And jump, shoot. Oh, a Biodeku Bob is there. Anyway, I have to find a way to get over to the other side before time on goes. Shouldn't be that bad, I hope. We'll see. This one is actually a little tough. Jumping and spinning, and jumping and spinning, jumping and spinning, and going to the Biodeku Baba, and kill, kill. And there we are. Cool. Okay, close. Alright. Yeah. Open your eyes. Oh, well done. Only 1 minute 20 seconds, 0.49 seconds. That's even faster than the gold time I gave you. It's great slumber, and let me give you a reward. And I just count. Five pieces of bubble cow. Faster training is one more time. I'll have an astounding reward for you. First path is on before you. And dream options, blank slate battle wind. Start with no echoes and no items allowed. Defeat your enemies using only what's available in the dream. Obviously, dropping them into the pit is going to be a good option. Training begins now. Close your eyes. Your energy flowing within you, huh? Okay. Give for this training. All you have is your rod. Your experience and inventory will sealed off, so be ready. Time is one minute, five seconds. Okay, begin. All right, and I... Okay, drop you. Drop. Okay. And I. Nope, nope. Come on. Good dough, and. Pull you in. There we are. Knockback spin could be good there, but. Uh, drag you in. I. Come on. Drag. Drag. I need to make that wind cannon. Probably. And basically, pull them into the pit. Okay. One that. And wind cannon. Cool. To make you available. And just like that. Like that. And now we pull. Over into here. And then. This one probably has a scorpion in it. No, it was just give those. Okay, cool. Yep. Open your eyes. You've done 36.3.69 seconds. Look at split. You're even faster than the goal time. It was a great slumber. Let me give you a reward. And cactuses. Okay. It's people like that. It makes you quite the power nap. But for like that, deserves a special reward. And. Okay, just. Warm peppers. Mm. I dream big and advance to another level. Trenton is like the wet zone of sleep. As promised, I've got something astounding for you in recognition of your sleepy progress. And that's... Oh, you got the first mastery. It's a scroll of Shisho's extremely specific teachings. Equip it to slightly slow energy loss when you're in sword fire form. Faster training just two more times. I'll have an astounding reward for you. I presume that final reward is just permanent form. If you're working for new training dreams, you'll need to go have some more experiences first. I have a couple already and... Yep, it's in equipment. A scroll level one, so it's probably gonna get replaced. Just like the scope got replaced by binoculars. The scroll of Shisha's extremely specific teachings. It slightly slows energy loss in sword fighter form. Eh. Let's do another. Ready? Dream options. Oh, okay. So it's a question of the special reward. Goal time, best time. So the ones. With a face. I, okay, Titan's Gathering. It's a gauntlet of the Mahdi's foes you brave so far. Oh, we could. 
we can do another fight. Your training begins now. We can rematch. Fuck. Close your eyes. Feel the energy flowing within you. Okay. This training and material possessions will be available. Fight with everything. Your gold time is 10. Begin. Aha. Uh -huh, nice. Boss rush. Size Metallus. I can imagine we should be able to make this work with just echoes. Any game with a boss rematch ability is a good one. I pull that out. Thank you, and it should work. Hello, thank you. Smack. And jump. Actually respawn you when you get too far away. It should be good. And that's next. Next phase. Yep, next phase. Cool. Alright, let's pull that in. Oh, new attack. I did not know that was an attack you could do. Come on, I guess. And rip. Rip out. Rip out. Come on. Thank you. Hit. One. Two. And one. Two. And another hit. Yep. So far, those hits for a phase transition. And it's final phase. Okay. Cool. And. Oh, but that. Seems to be a new attack. I guess they're a bit more difficult in the rematch mode. That makes sense. Come on, and this should be more than workable. Oh, my back. And go for your jump attack for the final hit. And here we Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, you're more durable. The final phase. Okay, cool. That makes some sense. And pull. Oh, oh. Thank you. Go for it. And put that down. Oh. Yeah, a lot more durable. Okay. Eight hits rather than five. Okay. And next, and the gauntlet. What is our special reward for this one going to be, even? Hmm. Right, all right. Oh, a boomerang would probably kill those frantals. Oh, okay, so the Zora dungeon was actually meant to be second. So in a certain sense. There's Volcavore. And the best way to take that up might be... Uh, probably not even know it. Depending on where it is. How fast I can get to it. So... Chompfin is the ideal summit for this, if I can get it to work and... There we are! Nice. Okay, and... No. Hit, and... Oh, goodness. I did not want that. I, come on, come on. Oh, please, please. Nice returning, and... Here we go. That's good. Corruption. Now you've got it on your side, which is annoying. Base transition already. Good. Heal nice damage. Okay, we gotta see if I can... Send that on you. Okay, now the tri is coming. I can... Oh, man. Now this is a mole situation. Mole in, behind, ideally, and can I... Go ahead, shoot, and... Mm -hmm. You have limits. You have severe limits. Come on, and... Shoot, and... Oh, my goodness. Not great. Thanks, and... We're over here. We could probably swim around that the time we had. Come on, shoot, shoot. Uh -huh, that's tough. Shoot, and up. Uh -huh. Hit, hit, up. Alright. And up. Wrong side, wrong side. Why couldn't you hit? Annoying. Up. That did hit. Come on. Up. Where are you going? This one is easily the most aggravating. Come on. Okay, more, more. Shoot, shoot, and another one. Up. There we are, nice. Which means we send our club board one back down. Come on up. Okay, there we are. Thank you. Come on up. Hit the right way at the right time, please. And there we are. Thanks, Ma. Things in air that maybe the firework could actually do it. Not quite sure. Oh. Well, that could actually be an interesting prospect. Get a couple of fireworks down and see. Alright. Oh, yes, it works. Very well. Oh, come on. Uh, Alright. Please, please. Uh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Now this will do it, and this will do it. There we are. So now we can send a board button. Like that. Come on. Please. There we go. Okay. A bit tougher. Firework actually worked pretty well. Oh. I guess that's sort of the bomb relevance then. Maybe. I think with a bomb fish would be kind of tough though. Got our statues in. I wonder where the power time for this is. So we consider him just being around as a bit of a bit of an achievement. And Mogriff. Okay. So I would say. Boomerang is nice to have here, so is. Let's use the cat statues this time. Also normal. Moblins. Thank you. I let's actually put the board one down. Let's just see if I can get some hits in. In the meantime, as many as possible. Cat statue. Where you're coming from? What you gonna move in? Yep, there we go. So now we can send in the club board one. Yep. Cool. Hit, hit again. Oh, but you're getting too far away, it's the thing. Probably want to respawn it after every attack just to make sure. Don't miss any windows. Okay, and right, hit. Hit. And it's good. Damage, I suppose. Cat statue. Come on. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? There is the way, and nice, we gotcha. Cool. Hit, and hit, 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 and hit, and there's next phase. Should be good. Use boomerangs while, oh right, we should re-equip our anti-quicksand stuff, because we're not in water anymore. Right, okay. Dive time, just quicksand proof, cool. And boomerang warbling. Come on, come on, and stay out of the way. Come on, keep hitting. In the meantime, and that actually does a real nice job of it. Thank you. Ah, oh, but no, you suck now. Right, right. Even if we can handle it, they can't. Okay, and try to come down here. You should try to make sure you crash in a place that be hit by. Yep. Can be hit by the club board one. And thank you. Done. Oh, that was too far away. I, that was dumb and annoying. Well, that actually hit all right, I suppose. And there you are. And I, oh goodness. Okay, I, thank you. Annoying. Gonna come out or, I, oh please. No, well, we, yeah. Now you're coming up. Okay, come on. Thanks. Spin and which way? Which way? Toss that. Up. Yeah, those are limits. Annoying limits at that. Okay, got that healing in. That's all right. That statue. Gonna come down or? Okay, come on. And that. Thanks you. Nice. Should work with the board one. Thanks. Another one. And another one. Another one. Come on. There we are. So five minutes and twenty eight seconds more or less. Could have probably saved some time on the vocal board, but that's so good. Okay. Yeah, another fairy. What's my reward? I think I did that in good time. Hmm. Open your eyes. Well done. Even faster than the gold time I gave you. Only 5 minutes, 28.88 seconds. That was great solving. Let me give you a reward. Milk. I've uh, got five containers of fresh milk. If you pass your training, just one more time. I'll have an astounding reward for you. If you renew training dreams, I'll need to go have some more experiences first. Well, I? That was not... Actually... That was still only a check mark. So in that case, I think I'll wait till it really good echoes and just come back. And super queer them all. I... We don't have the sauce for it yet, especially on hero mode. And it did not consume any of the things I had, actually. That's good to know for next time. Use that stuff pretty freely then, and you are. A bunch of soldiers came by from the Hyrule Castle, said they're looking for a fugitive, but it was strange, they all seemed so upset. I haven't seen you before, I take it you're from out of town. Everyone's talking about some crimes the princess said, I wouldn't know, never matter. I think they were 
I think I talked to them already. Maybe. Let's go over here and try that minigame, see if I can get the proper time now. Mr. Acorn Man. Okay, come on. Hi. Oh, we said our echoes too. Come on. Go over it and boomerang that. That's good. Uh, still pretty strong. But yeah, that's definitely hero mode. Really? Not kill him? Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can get that power time now that we've got the water block. Hopefully. Okay. I think we should be able to get every acorn man satisfied. Okay. Time to gather. Okay, cool. Ooh. How are we going to whoop this around, though? Two, one, go. Water, and that did let me get up there, which is nice. And just like this, I set a bad bridge is probably still the better option here. And with that, and just like that, and over there, that way, and we got the water block over there. Should be good here, and can I... Nice, and under 20 seconds. Hopefully that did it. Nice. Nice work, you all. The acorns in your time six minutes. 16.42 seconds. You're amazing already. Right, that's prize time. Do we beat part time? 20 rupees. Excellent. And, oh, that was lightning fast. So fast, in fact, that you got a special one-time bonus. Oh, a piece of heart for that one. Nice. Oh, but I think it might be sort of you get them in order based on, well, based on the total number you've beaten. Okay. Come visit me again and play some more. Okay. Uh, you and the final one would be over this way. Conveniently right by a teleport waypoint. Okay. Let's make something beautiful happen. Okay. Mm. Okay. Come on. Where to next? That's the question. Okay. Me too. Okay. Just right over here. Right. Use this to get up, I suppose. Good jump from that, too. It's nice and quick. Yeah. Hey, hi, whoa, you can gather and give it a go. And now that the water block up the city is in the crawl to Should be faster, too, hopefully. It's got a fun one. See what your fun reward is. Time to gather. Okay. I can skip that. 16 acorns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a minute. Hopefully we should be able to do it in a good amount of time, and jump, 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 and just keep on spinning, never stop spinning, and just jump up, and jump up, and I messed that up, and what? Never mind, I hate this. Definitely not getting it this time, and can I? One, zero, three, four, that is really, really good. I Swimming might be a problem there. I just get that out of the way, and just a couple. Come on, get that end. Wait, maybe it was under 30 seconds. That could be achievable if I was better about that. New best time, maybe? That's right, you get all the acorns. Your time is 32.49 seconds. Amazing already, that's prize time. And. Oh, that was lightning fast, so fast, the fact that you do get a special one time bonus, and that's. Oh, something entirely new. We got a steel trap. It's a broken trap, so it's sharp, pointy teeth. It's too dangerous to use in this state. Use it me again and play some more, so... That's... Huh. A steel trap with sharp, pointy teeth. It doesn't work anymore. It's too dangerous to use. So we turned in the blast powder soil. We haven't turned the fan or the trap yet. By the way, we've finished that. So let's go over and... Talk to people in the house. I don't wonder what this is going to be. That very suspicious tree. Maybe that's where the final stamp is. Probably not. Okay, then. Okay. Talk to you. Finally back in the house. We might even be able to get more upgrades. Maybe. But yeah. At least three more pieces of heart. Probably seven. Well, the ones just in the world we've found, more or less. The rest must be from various minigames. Okay. Still the Zorakit treasure. I mean, Zorakit quest, really. Still missing. 
The King of Hyrule and Link are still missing. You may have remanding the Order Rifts, returning to Wibri's house, and share everything that has happened. If you say so. Welcome back, Princess. I imagine you've got a lot to catch me up on. Go on, then. So despite mopping up those rifts, there's still no sign of the King or Link. That's my King. Where could you be? Persistence is paid off. Princess, thank you for taking care of those rifts. I wonder if the general would go here if we beat the Zora one before Gerudo. If you had any dialogue for that. At least but one large rift, one located in Hyrule Castle. Alright, that's what took these two as well as his majesty. The magnanimous king is in a rift even now. While we stand here yammering away, those frogs are waltzing about in the castle. General Wright, calm yourself. Princess, Mr. Wubery, Minister left. Cyrus General, I cannot stand idly by. What is it you intend to do then? Take action, obviously. I'm going to expose the true identities of those imposters tainting our beloved castle. Charge! Bad idea. Hey, General Wright, for the love of. Oh, goodness. You should weren't even done talking. That guy can't still sit still for long, can he? Back to it, you mentioned you've got to find a pink. I hope he's alright. So I'm guessing we'll head to the castle too then. The Sphinx are after your head princess, so please proceed with the utmost caution. General Wright headed towards Hyrule Castle. He plans to expose the true identity of the imposters in hopes of saving the King of Hyrule, who is still trapped in a rift. Mr. Left followed General Wright, hoping to stop him. Pause in the castle after your life. If you head that way, please be careful. Can I do any more upgrades? Can't do that yet. Okay. Cool. Check out the machine or if you want to enhance something. Can't really do that yet. Yeah. Diary, sword, bomb, bow. Yeah. That shows. There's no other kind of bomb there, but you see a wooden bow and a metallic bow. That's slightly different. I guess those are prototypes of this sort of might crystal options. Sort of might. Bow of might. Level 2. Wouldn't that have been the. Swordsman's available for maybe? We got 30, we found 91 in total. 96, right? 96 microsses in total, and number from each dungeon. Fun. Stamps, and let's unmark those crystals. Hmm. Just wondering, I feel as if. Somewhere, but this is, there's a stamp right here, so probably not here. Somewhere up here would make sense as a stamp location. But, you know what? Maybe I'll check around a bit more. And, oh, I've already been here. It'll probably reveal itself eventually. It might even be in the forest. You could see that. Actually, I just want to check. In the forest, quick one more time, but yeah. Next up is Hyrule Castle, but not really in a position to go there at the moment. Much time has passed. Yep, it's right over here. But this should open and close up. We should close up once we do Hyrule Castle's whole deal. But I still cannot read this. Next is impossible to make out. I think over here maybe? Let's actually just climb up top and see. And... Uh, going on inside, they actually let you stay on this edge. Hmm. I? Once you're inside, you can go out in the trees. Grand oh, you came back. Well... It basically saved us. <laughs> so in that case, I'll just sit outside and have a castle. That'll be the next objective. Oh goodness, taking a bit to load, but that's just because it's far away. Okay. Good stuff. Let's unmark these. And that quest over there. Mr. Container Man. Probably something from the castle, maybe? Castle Town? We'll figure it out. Well, before any of that, I'll just close things out. Lots of crystals and a number of funky items. We but everything we think from the Acorn Man, so I wonder what that steel trap will be used for eventually, because that was the reward for basically clearing out their minigame, in the same way that this was the reward for clearing out the first two levels of the... Mango minigame. Hmm. Alright then. So... Fare thee well, yeah. Sanaragon. <laughs>